you can put 145 pounds on a bar and do like 25 different exercises with it. Yep. And your heart rate goes through the fucking roof. Like you feel like you're gonna die. Yeah. Like during CrossFit, like the goal in my the way I look at it yeah. is like how intense can I be to push myself to the point that I'm gonna die. I I questioned the other day. She like showed me the workout they did, and it said. Like AM, AM rap, like AM rap. I didn't know what those are. I saw her. I was like, I don't I, know what's that I was like what the is. fuck is that? She's like, that's as many reps as possible. Oh, that's what that means? I was like, oh, fuck. And then I looked at him like, I didn't you know what that means. I was like, you did that for as many reps as possible. She's like, yeah. So like, what, what was the workout? Um, Here, let me see. It's making my heart rate go up. This coffee is strong as fuck, <laughs> by the way, Jay. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Okay, so this one was a fifteen minute, fifteen a, minutes, fifteen minute AMRAP. Okay, so fifteen minutes as uh, many reps as possible, as many reps as possible. So you go through this circuit okay. as many times as you can in fifteen minutes. Oh, cool! Nice. So thirty double unders. What's a double under? Jumping rope. It goes under your feet twice mm -hmm. per spin. I can't do them yet. I can't do that. I can mm. do one. Fifteen burpees. <laughs> Okay. Then 30 Russian kettlebell <clears throat> swings. What's that one? Is I that don't, a regular kettlebell swing? I don't know. I don't know what Russian Does it pick a weight? It says 53, 35. So I'm assuming 53 men, 35 women. Oh, boy. And then you do that. How many reps? 30 Russian oh kettlebell boy. swings. So 30 double unders, 15 burpees, 30 Russian kettlebell swings, as many times as you can go through that. Oh, just that. those three exercises. Yeah, you go through those three as many times as you can in 15 minutes. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Man, I didn't know that's what that meant. Yeah, because then what you do, like in this CrossFit world, like almost every CrossFit gym has these like same workouts because they're all on one centralized like website every day. Oh, on the CrossFit website. Right. So, so like a lot of people. Because a gym, a gym can't say it's a CrossFit gym without taking the CrossFit classes. Yeah, it needs like a, an accreditation. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so then everyone will do this and then everyone will post like, hey, I got through this circuit. 15 minutes. Right. Like some you of them. That, there's no way. That's impossible. Dude, that's what I mean. Like some of them that they post, they're like, holy shit, you're in shape. Like you're fucking so, animal. So yeah. with that one, you, how many did you say she did? Or I, I don't know. It says. Do you do that? If you do that in 15 minutes, if you do that like six or seven times. You're, you're, you're in pretty good shape. I'll have to ask her. I don't know how many times she's like so much out of you. Oh my god, I Dude, can't. Like, do, uh, I can't like, do them. If you do 15 burpees, your heart in the beginning. The roof, though, you, if I do 15 burpees, I can do 15 burpees, fucking like nothing. Yeah. But the te 15 seconds after you're done doing those burpees, all of a sudden your heart rate goes into your neck, and you're like, whoa, 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 what the fuck is going on? Yeah, it's only after you're done them. Yeah, yeah. I've, yeah. Been, I've yeah. done. I, uh, I've done 25 burpees in a row, like at the end of a workout. Like at the end of my circuit, that's when I do the burpees because yeah. they're the worst. I did 25 the one day. I was like, fuck you. Yeah. I'm, at, I'm at like 18. I'm like, fuck you, fuck you in my head. And then all of a sudden, like I finished. And I'm like, what's that? I'm like, that's my heartbeat in my throat. My, my weight training on Wednesday nights, my warm-up is um, – like stability ball crunches, some sort of lunges, and then oh, those are good. And then fifteen to twenty burpees, and then you do that three rounds. Oh, nice! I don't do the burpees. I'm like, fuck you! I, and I tell my <laughs> coach, I message in there. I'm like, didn't do the burpees, ran a mile instead. I'd much rather run a fucking mile. Do the burpees than do the burpees. Jake was giving me shit because my knees a little flared up. Yeah, he's like, dude, what you do, you know? And the other day on Monday, I was all fucking worked up. I was all pissed off, just in my head about work. And uh, I was like, I'm going home doing a sandbag workout because sandbag workouts fuck me up the worst. Yep. So I'm like, I'm going home and throwing down a sandbag workout. I'm not lifting weights. I have, I have, I laid off the hit workouts. I used to do like three a yeah. week. Now I do one or two. And I've been doing the bro split and I love it. But I'm like, I have to fuck myself up. I have to. So I go home and I'm like, these sandbags fuck these things. So I start out and just doing the rows, warming up, all the shit on my shoulders, all that. I'm like, all right, now run the driveway. I run up my driveway. I run back down my driveway, come back, do 15 burpees, do some more sandbags. I do squats, and I do, I don't know, like like, cleans. like a clean press with yeah. the 50-pounder, mm -hmm. clean, just a clean with the 100-pounder on a front squat. Mm -hmm. I don't know terms. Yeah. I'm, yeah. 
I'm a bodybuilder. I'm not a CrossFitter. I'm <laughs> working on it. Yeah. I'm an influencer now. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, and then I'm like, I got to do something to fucking gas me out. So I was like, all right. I was like, I threw the 100-pound sandbag on my shoulder. 100-pound sandbag on my shoulder, ran up my driveway. Ran up to the top of my driveway. Like, a halfway through, I'm like, this is not a good idea. My heart was starting to beat through my chest. And I'm yeah. like, all right, you're doing a good job. Like, at almost the top, like, all of a sudden at the top, it, like, takes a steeper thing. Yeah. I'm like, oh, like, my heart went through. I threw the bag down. I'm like, back down. Ran back down the driveway. And as I'm running back down, I'm like, all right, I'm cool now. I'm good. I'm good. My heart rate slowed down. I'm like, get the 50-pounder, run back up the driveway. Picked up the <laughs> About back, oh ran up the driveway, and like halfway up, I'm like, "This is a really bad idea. Like, I might have a fucking heart attack." Uh -huh. Like, I started like having yeah. this feeling in my chest where I'm like, "This is not good." And I'm like, "It's fine. It's just cold." That's it. Just hard on the lungs. So I kept running. It became like a like a jog. Yeah, <laughs> I felt like a fat guy run. You know, they move their oh, arms yeah. really fast and shuffle their feet. Oh yeah, Keep that the was cadence what I, going. That's what I was doing. Uh -huh. So I took it up, and then I was like, go get the 25-pounder. I ran back down the driveway, got the 25-pounder, took it up. And, uh, and the whole time, like, my heart was fucking racing. Like, it, I've yeah. never felt that in my entire life. Yeah. Never. And then I had to bring him back down. Yeah. Oh, you left all of them up yeah. Oh, yeah. I, put, oh, I left okay. them all up there yeah. and brought them down. And I was like, all right, I'm going to take the 25 down and then went back drove, up. Drove the truck back down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But at the end of it, I was like, that was that was one of the most intense. That's some of the most intense because my driveway's like, it's like, steep. Yeah, like a sixth of a mile, yeah. and it's fucking steep. Yep. And um, yeah, I was like, all right, that's probably like a nine percent grade at the top, ten percent grade. It's pretty intense. Yeah. It's to a point where, like, like I said, like I was like questioning, like, should I be doing this? And I'm like, <laughs> I I literally was like, I don't give a <clears throat> fuck if I. I was like, watch me. Uh, I was like bringing the one down. I'm like, watch me have a fucking heart attack doing cardio. The internet goes crazy. Juice Ted's fucking Seth has a heart attack. Not on juice. Yep. TRT just doing cardio, you dickhead. Red line heart rate. Yeah, that's fucking. I don't even. I was uh, at that point. That's when I was like, I wish I had like a fucking monitor. Yeah. Or, yeah. Because I think it was. It was. It was it's probably 180, 190. Oh, I'm. 190. 200. It might have been. You yeah. wear those all the time, don't you? Yeah. Do right. yeah, yeah. For all the stuff you do. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I mean, I, and when I do cardio in the morning, it gets up, but I control it because mm -hmm. I can breathe on the stepper. Yeah. Like I'm on like, you know, I'm on the highest one at the end for like eight minutes, just pushing and I can breathe and control it. Mm -hmm. When I was out there doing that, that bag on your shoulder, like it like weighs you down and you're like, oh, you're like, compensating it, everything. It, it, it throws off your breathing pattern altogether. Oh, dude, yeah. I had to, I'm like... I was like switching over and then I put it on my neck and bro, it was. But that, is that but, how you fucked your knee up? Yeah. So then Jake goes, <laughs> he's like, what, what happened? I'm like, well, I was doing this and he's like, do you think maybe the burpees? And then I was like, he's probably carrying the sandbags up the driveway. He's like, what sandbags were you carrying up the driveway? I'm like, well, I took a hundred pounder up, a 50 pounder up, 25. And he's like, oh yeah, you definitely, yeah, yeah you yeah. can't do that. He's like, were you like, and I was switching shoulders, but Yeah. And that carried him up. I actually ran with him up. Right? I, yeah, I said run to sound with cool. Yeah. It was like a fat guy shuffle. Honestly, it was probably the descent <clears throat> of the driveway that fucked your knee. Like, like, <laughs> it's probably like what it is. That, right. Putting you, those brakes on coming down, yep. it fucks my knees up. So oh, bad. yeah. Yeah, but it was... <clears throat> I mean, people bust my balls about being an influencer now. You know, vegan, <laughs> CrossFit, yeah, all that. 50% vegan. Natural. 25%. 25%, 25 natural. 50% vegan. 25% CrossFitter. 100% badass. <laughs> <laughs> People that don't know that's a joke are fucking assholes. But it's, uh, I think that the um, doing those type of workouts, like it changed everything. I think that like a CrossFit style workout, that functional and fuckable yeah. is so important because what it, like even for bodybuilders, like if you're a bodybuilder and you need to, and you, you need to have your heart needs to stay healthy. I think through those types of workouts, you have better better cardiovascular health. Yeah, overall, because you need yeah. to get your heart rate up, and then control it on the way down. You need to be able to control your heart rate. Learn how to control it. Mm -hmm. I do that through my morning cardio, and then after you're done around, bring your heart rate back down through breathing. Mm -hmm. If you can, you, you, like, when it's high like that, it's like, all right, how am I going to control it? I practiced all my breathing techniques on the way down the hill. Mm -hmm. you got to control it. Yep. And it's, it's incredibly challenging. 
It, it's frustrating too. Like I did, I had a six month period of just aerobic base training, which aerobic base training is literally training at this level that is boring and like awful. It's slow paced, but it, the idea is that you're working at a heart rate of like 125 to 135, no matter what. If it starts to go over that, you back down the pace. Uh, and you do that 80% of the time for six months. Uh, it's brutal. There's but like, no way I could do when, it. When I started training that way, I was running like 10-minute miles. I could run faster. Yeah. I had to run 10-minute miles to manage a 135 heart rate. Then three months later, that 10 turned into like a 9 at 134. Now I can run like a 745 at a 134 heart rate. See, you're doing it the right way. You have a coach. <clears throat> I yeah. just have my stupid ideas in my head. <laughs> yeah, but like for the first four weeks, like she's like, no, like you didn't do that right. And I'm like, well, I started out slow. She's like, yeah, and you got faster, and then you never slowed it down again. She's like, heart rate is priority. I'm like, oh, <sighs> fuck. I'm like, this fuck sucks, that. dude. Fuck I was like, I was it. way faster last year, though. <laughs> So, and, doing, uh, so doing that, though, is not for you to, like, build stamina or nothing like that. It's more to learn how to manage your heart rate and breathing. Yeah, and so, that, right? so the idea is you keep <clears throat> building this aerobic base to the point that it, it is so low at these faster paces, you're using so little energy, energy yeah. to, go that, to go faster. So then, like, like these guys, like uh, these professionals riding the bike, like, at 350 watts, which is insane, yeah. with a 108 heart rate. Which is nothing. Which is like, <laughs> I, I can get that just walking up five stairs. Well, yeah. I, that you was know? my resting heart rate a year ago, <laughs> yeah. a year and a half ago. Right, <laughs> right. But the idea is to build that aerobic base and then you add speed in. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it's fucking... I find it fascinating. Yeah, me too. That's why, me I mean, I, I think that, um, uh, you know, with all the health scares in bodybuilding, like, I will attest my diet. Mm-hmm. And that style of training, that functional and fuckable hit, CrossFit, whatever you want to call it, played a significant role in like getting my heart rate, yeah. my blood pressure, and everything under control. Well, it, it's back to I, I think CrossFit is literally one of the most beneficial styles anyone can do. It's literally training you to be the best hu human, like best human on the planet. I just use functional and fuckable to yep. make it sound better. Yes. Sexy, it is. sexier yeah. than CrossFit. Yeah. The, the, the term CrossFit. Yeah. Because it's, you know, whenever you hear CrossFit, you're like, fucking douchebag. What are you going to do? Tell me next you eat paleo? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> do you make your own beef jerky too? <laughs> or is it biltong? <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things that it's like, but then in the same regard, like literally people yell chicken and rice motherfucker at me. <laughs> Fucking meathead! You ever like? Did anyone ever drive by you and like screaming out the oh like car God. window? It still occurs. <laughs> all these young kids that are now finding out who I am because they're all over. They're all on YouTube yeah. and stuff. Like chicken and rice, man. And I'm like, I cannot believe that the most stapled thing from every bodybuilder is like, <laughs> that's me. But it's because like that whole video. I remember because it was my baseline. Like, how do I find my baseline after I've been a fuck off for so long eating snacks and fucking off? I just go back to eating chicken and rice for two weeks straight. Yeah. I eat chicken and rice at breakfast. I eat chicken and rice in the middle of the fucking night. You don't eat anything but chicken and motherfucking rice. Why? Because those are the two things that worked for me. Potatoes bloated me. Red meat, not good. I love red meat, but it just made me a little thicker and bloated me a little bit. So I eat the chicken. I eat the rice. Does it suck? Yeah. <laughs> but then after two weeks, I'm like, let's add some shit in there because you're back at a baseline. Mm -hmm. Chicken and rice, motherfucker. I had people, yeah. I think of people like watching that video for the first time. They're like, oh, I'm going to take some notes. And they're writing it down. <laughs> and they're at the end. They're like, oh, okay, chicken, chicken and rice <laughs> all day, every day, two weeks. <laughs> Got it. I could have wrote that one fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I was talking to uh, – uh, Logan uh, Guthrie, he's uh, he just turned pro, mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> uh, he did a QA and a and we were just bullshitting him back and forth, and he's like, your principles are so intense yet so simple. I'm like, yes. I'm not the smartest motherfucker, but oh, people, too many people overcomplicate things. Mm -hmm. Like, not everybody's a scientist. Not everybody is yeah. a scientist. I'm not. No, you're not, but... <laughs> Dean kind of is. He is a little... Doctor. He's doctor. Doctor. Dr. Yeah. Dean. <laughs> Get it right, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that you have like Derek from More Plates, More Dates. Mm -hmm. uh, he he, dude, 
Dude's highly intelligent. Super smart guy. Stupid yeah. smart yeah. guy, but not everybody's like that. Yeah. And it, and it's like not everybody learns that way from that as well. Like some things he says goes over my head, and oh, I'm yeah. like, I don't know what just occurred, but I think you're right. <laughs> Sounded right. And yeah. and he's like he's quick, he's on it, and he studies, and he's always on it. And he's like he's the guy that can tell you to go fuck yourself in a 35 minute <laughs> video without saying go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's Derek. He's like that, but he, he's he knows his shit. Yeah. And not everybody learns that way. Me, I learn through experience like that's how i do so the chicken and rice i don't know what it's doing to me i don't really care mm -mm. i just want to know that i feel good my belly's good and i'm getting bigger yeah. that was my mentality yeah, okay. i was a meathead yeah. and that simple mentality can take you places it can take you to incredible places mm -hmm. like the basics go through kobe bryant uh tom brady all these people all they're like yeah i just do the basics very intense I still do basics every single day. And you're like, so basics work. Yes. Yes, they do. Yeah. The best in the world just stick to the basics and do it more intense than you. Mm -hmm. And so, some people, some people, I think, <laughs> thrive on <clears throat> keeping things as simple as possible. I, you know, I mean, some people, like you said, not everybody learned, like Derek, uh, he's awesome. I love listening to him. Same thing. I don't know half the shit he's saying, but it sounds awesome. And I know he knows his shit. But, like, a lot of people want the easiest I don't mean easiest as in like no work, but I mean, most simplistic. yeah, the most simplistic way possible. Keep it simple, keep it easy, keep it basic. And that's the easiest thing for somebody to adhere to and to stick to and follow. And everything, I, th so. I think that if sometimes like different personalities meet different things, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And too many people get excited. Like, um, like you learn differently than I, and Dean learns differently. Jay, Jay, everybody learns differently. So it's like, whenever you find something you, that you connect with, like run with it. Be excited about it. Mm -hmm. Who cares if everybody else is agreeing with you or disagreeing with you? Go experience it. Like the chicken and rice. Like I, eat ch you know what else? You know what I put on my chicken and rice? I put ketchup and mustard on it sometimes. <laughs> Other times I just do hot sauce and mustard. Yeah. Sometimes I'll use like some sirachi sauce. <laughs> Syriac. I haven't heard that in a while. It's like a coup rig. It's a coup rig. <laughs> you fucking stupid Pittsburghese bastard. You're so sure of it when you say it. Oh, it man, right. I'm fucking dead set on Syriachi. it. Syriachi. Yeah, I love this shit. Seth, where's the eye on that bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I think there, motherfucker. But those, uh, I think that that's, what, that's what's so cool about the internet. And, I mean, me with the CrossFit thing, the functional and fuckable, I didn't even know what arm wrap was or AMRAP. AMRAP, yeah. As many reps as possible. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even, I just saw it and I'm like, oh, man. It's an acronym. It's an acronym for that. Which, yep. like, uh, like a few years ago, like, or when CrossFit started getting bigger, with the workout of the day is what they call it. Yeah, WAD. I, 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 just, would, I would I see just, that everywhere. I know what a WAD They're is, like, what's I mean? the WAD? Or what? And I'm like, what the fuck is this? What is this word even? Dude, I just I learned realized, about it last year. Yeah. I started putting it on like, there. I'm like, look how smart I am. I'm like, oh, it's workout of the day or whatever. I'm like, Shit. Who the fuck knew? <laughs> but those are, uh, but no, it's, I don't know. I think it's, uh, it's cool. And, it, and if it makes you a better person, then why do we even care? But it, it's also like, Okay, so powerlifters, strongmen, bodybuilders, crossfitters, triathletes, everybody like that. Like, I, in a sense, view it the same way that the military fucks with each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know how, like, the Marines are like, you fucking Navy pussies. Yeah, they all <laughs> talk shit to pussies. each other. <laughs> like, they all talk yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, Marines eating crayons. Like, I think, like, <laughs> which is fucking funny, dude. <laughs> but then, like... And the same goes for all the different uh, fitness styles. Yeah. Like, it should be, we should just fuck with each other. Don't take it personal. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be fun, lighthearted. Whatever you're doing, like, like what are you going to do? You're going to tell Matt Fraser he's a fucking pussy because he does CrossFit? <laughs> Dude. Not me. The fittest man alive. <laughs> for years. Literally, yeah. Years. Like, I think six years, five or six years yeah, running. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And then what are you going to do? Tell Jay Cutler and fucking Phil Heath, Ronnie <clears throat> Coleman? Like, ha, meathead douchebags. And they're like, thank you. Did you see all those fucking medals? Yeah. See that? It was the best in the world. <laughs> like, no, you, it, and it's, so I think that it's fun. Like, everybody should be lighthearted about it, not take it so serious. And if you are a CrossFitter, it's like, yeah, pussy, <laughs> meathead, moron. You know, like, it's supposed to be fun. And I think people talk shit because it's so fucking hard. It's so difficult. <clears throat> oh, my God. And, and, like, the attention they put into things. Like, like uh, a, a, a true CrossFit athlete, they're not getting right into their workout. They're going to, like, 
take 15 or 20 minutes and stretch and roll out and do all this shit. And like as a as a bodybuilder or a weightlifter, you're watching you're like the fuck are you yeah. doing down there? What are you, what are you, you wasting all that time? Huh? Stretching for 15 minutes with the <laughs> fuck? That foam roller treat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that making you bigger? Yeah. <laughs> like that's literally like what I think about and then like just if you want to single out one fucking thing about CrossFit, fuck burpees. I love them. That, that's enough to talk shit on on the entire community. But it well, <laughs> that's what Morgan, he was like, he, Morgan Rice, yeah. the guy that trains uh, Doug. Yeah. He came in the train the one day and he and I was like, yeah, I do my, you know, my hip workouts, this and that. He's like, yeah, you do those blurpy things, huh? <laughs> and I'm like, that was the most meathead fucking thing you could say to me. Yeah. <laughs> but like, he's like, I'm not even going to pronounce it right. Fuck you. <laughs> His face when, when Doug was like, "Oh yeah, he runs Iron Man," and he's like, oh, like just disgusted with me. I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm ashamed, I'm ashamed I even you even know that." I love it. Yeah, but that's that's the fun part of it all. And but it's also you know, uh, whenever you're one of the best at it, or you're going like Iron Man, like like just to complete an Iron Man is is a little is a little different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you just, guys are different. Yeah. So they're a completely different Yeah, breed. you're you're like you're like, oh, you run marathons. You're like, oh, my grandma ran a marathon. Your grandma ain't running a fucking Iron Man. <laughs> you know? Yep. So it's like it's a different category. And like whenever you do a bodybuilding show, you're like, oh, it's nice to do a bodybuilding show. You compete at a national level, you're like, oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. You do you you because you have to go to places <clears throat> for each one of those levels and in, in anything. Like you have to go to a place that's not fun. And whenever you see motivational videos like Machiavelli motivation on bodybuilding or anything for whatever sport that is, it connects with those people that are into it yeah. because you have to be able to go to those places yeah. that those people go in their heads yep. and even break it down even further. Everybody has a different way of going about it. And that's with like Iron Man, like you were saying, that Lionel guy yeah. versus some of these other guys. He's like the wild man of the group, whereas that these other guys are similar to you, like you were saying, like how like... Uh, like planned and methodical you are. Yeah, OCD to yeah. the fucking like. If obsessive. I if I did that, mm -hmm. if I did Iron Man, I would have a really hard time because I'm very impatient with it. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna chew on something. Right. You can't do that because mm -hmm. your heart might explode. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Good times. Yeah. There's different. Uh, there's different. The, it's interesting bringing this up because there's different. If you you can take any category you just talked about <clears throat> or industry, whether it's CrossFit, bodybuilding, powerlifting, Ironman, and there's you could break each one of those down to different levels. Oh, you know what I mean? Of like yeah. like you said, like a marathon runner typically is not going to be the person that does a complete Ironman, or you have people that powerlift for fun, but they're not competing at a national level or something like you know. What I mean, there's, there's every single one of those categories has multiple levels where people take it a little bit further in each it's, one has it that different take it further that level yeah. of intensity yeah oh yeah like powerlifting. like i was watching um i came across something on my instagram feed and like just dude squatting 900 pounds i'm like that what you what that person the the feeling that that person is getting is something that i have no desire in that manner like i want yeah. that feeling mm -hmm. but i don't want to put that he's Bro, you might get crushed. Yeah. yeah. Your knees blow out. Mm -hmm. Your femur literally fucking break in half. Yeah. <laughs> like that's the type of weight you got on your back. And you're over there fucking <laughs> I'm like, oh yes, sick. And I'm like, oh my god, you're crazy. <laughs> then they watch something like an Iron Man, they're like, So like How long has he been out yes. there? So like yeah. you're a bike. I don't <laughs> even like I'll fall asleep driving yeah. that far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's wild. So, like that <clears throat> different levels of intensity and that and those feelings, but those feelings mm -hmm. are what people fucking yeah. That's what drives them. Yep. No, I we, I was filming with Jay yesterday during uh, like a intense bike workout, and like there was this point of it where like, dude, it, it was the hardest thirty seconds of that hour, and it's like oh thirty seconds, like yeah, you can, but that feeling you have for that thirty seconds. It's like it's like you hitting that nine hundred pound fucking squat or or hitting a big bench PR or, or whatever it may be. You're it's... not getting that feeling any other fucking place. Nope. It might be months till you feel that again because you might not hit another PR till yeah. mm -hmm. a few months. You know. Yeah. And and it took me X amount of time to be able to hit that thirty seconds at that power. So it's like it's just a. 
to PR. It's a wild progress. That is what uh, I mean. That's what makes it all so wonderful. Mm-hmm. You know that those levels of intensity. Yep. And and those physical accomplishments personally that took you mental strength, emotional yeah. strength, uh, incredible work for weeks, months, years to get to that point. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, consistency, the dedication. I mean, and it's yeah, I love it. And there's just there is just as much mental as there is physical. Oh you know, yeah, it's always it's, <clears throat> they go hand in hand major, majority of the time. Yeah. Oh yeah. And CrossFit. Iron Man's bodybuilding. I Good wonder morning. if like we can get like the CrossFit organization to change it, the name. <laughs> Functional and fuckable. Yeah. I mean, I think they'd be okay with it. I mean, I would see. I just I want could see that on the outside of all the gyms. Yeah. yeah. Royalties. Know? Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Petition time. I think. Yep. We should start it. Yeah, we'll take six. You're the most functional and fuckable we'll person on the planet. Sixty-nine percent of the profits. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Watch this fucking they'll, take off. They'll be like, you're going to get like, guys, we're huge. point zero. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm the most f- functional and fuckable person on the planet. Everybody's like, I believe it. I'm going to submit a fake like press release. Put it everywhere. <laughs> PR Newswire. It's fucking everywhere. CrossFit changes name to functional and fuckable. Oh, my God. Yeah. Be great. Yeah. Tag me. Yeah, I, will. I will. They'll love that. We won't get a letter. <laughs> We're definitely going to get sued. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh, fuck. Well, good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the HWMF Podcast. I'm your host, Seth Ferrosi, here with my heterosexual life mate, Bob. Yo. And a guest that we have in here for the week, the Snack King, Dad of the Year, Dean Perone. Hello. And Jay, of course. <laughs> Shader. Hi. He's quiet over there. I'm over here today. Yeah. Hmm. We didn't even bring up MMA stuff. No, we didn't. Because Cody was here yesterday, and he's a fucking another one. Like, that's another industry. It's crazy. Because you're actually getting kicked in the face Yeah. by another human. You're not, like, just, like, against yourself. You're against yourself in the gym and, like, mentally, physically, emotionally, and then you go get fucking cracked in the face. Yeah, you're training to... To literally like, fight someone else. Voluntarily. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, you're not being... Willing to get that. punched in the face. <laughs> like... <laughs> That dude is a fucking badass. He is. Yeah. Like, he, he's he's the real deal. Silent killer, man. He's the real deal. Yep. Dean felt it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. We punched and kicked Dean. <laughs> a couple times. Yeah. Once, like, right in the dick almost. Yeah. <laughs> Dead yet. Yeah. We got to add all that protection. <sighs> but, yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, like <clears throat> fighters are a different breed. Mm-hmm. It's another thing that, like, there's there's sick enjoyment in it. You know, it's like punch me in the face, like punch me, and you're like, "Whoa, nice, <laughs> okay." The scary thing is what we were just talking about earlier, but before we started doing all this about fighters in general nowadays, because there's so many of them, and like some of them are small compared. You know what I mean? It's like you have no idea. We were talking about like seeing somebody at like a bar or yeah. something like that before you got well, here, and we were like, yeah. you, you don't know, like this guy who looks like not much could just fucking roll you up like nothing." Mm-hmm. And, yeah. So it's like, because we were talking about the Amerises, Philip, uh, yeah. Phil Jr., Phil Sr., and then uh, the other brother, Jim, Jimmy. Jimmy, even Phil, okay. He, the, the senior, he was like, he, he did a, Jay did an impression of uh, Phil Sr., and he's like all excited and all over the place, and he's a bigger guy, you know, he's a little chubby now. That dude is a fucking psychopath. <laughs> he's an animal. And then you look at Phil. Phil Jr., and then you look at Jimmy, and you're like, oh, look at these nice guys, upstanding young gentlemen. They're sweethearts. They're so polite, well-mannered. Jimmy's fucking crazy. Crazy. He's a, <laughs> he's a dude at the bar that you'd see be like, huh, fuck him, pussy. <laughs> and literally before you know it, fucking kicks you right in the face and elbows you while you're on the ground. You're like, what just happened? That 155-pound guy over there just kicked your fucking ass. That's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't met them yet. No, personally. you met Phil. Did I? Were you here when he was here to one day? They were in here, I think, was he? I don't think Bob was here. Oh, okay. I don't think I was here. Oh, you were, you were at Iron Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they came in yeah. after... after Why were they here? No, they came in because Cody fight the week after, and you were still away. You're right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the other one, Isaac... Isaac, yeah, he's a I chiropractor. Met, I met Isaac, yeah. He's as short as I am and a fucking sweetheart of a man. Uh-huh. Family man, nice. Yep. You're like, man, really good guy. You go into the mat factory and watch him, you're like, 
That was scary. <laughs> Did you see that? Dude, so strong. And like, it, they're, he's, they're animals. They're savages. I love it. I think it's like the coolest thing in the world. I was talking to him about my heart rate and stuff, and like, he was overly impressed about my VO2 and all this stuff. He's like, you ever think about like jujitsu? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no. no, no. Actually, no. I, I was like, I'm running from myself. I was yeah. like, that's it. I was Not like, running from you. No. <laughs> or I will run from you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, so I was thinking about that just because it's, you know, it's it's a challenge. And I, whenever I see them, I'm like, you have been doing this as long as I've been bodybuilding. Yeah. Like, that's how good you are and how experienced and how calm. Like, that heart rate thing. So... Like I was saying, like running up the hills and stuff. Imagine rolling around with another man and he all of a sudden gets you in a point where he can like literally cut your breathing off. Your heart rate's going to fucking skyrocket. It's already high and then they cut your your breathing off. Yeah. yeah. And like you're like, I got to get out of this. Yep. All right. Take the heart. Take the hand away and reach back and keep my, keep him from getting this leg. Yeah. You're me. trying to be methodical while almost dying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so your heart rate, he's like, yeah, I think we could do something with you. Yeah, Bob's like, no, I'm good, dude. No. Bro, fi- like, the more I think about it, fighting is, like, it might be the hardest thing on the fucking planet. It's, it's endurance meets strength meets technique meets strategy. mindset, strategy. Yeah, because you have to fucking, be one step ahead, too. Yeah. Like, like, you're talking about if, if they have you on the ground in chokehold or something, you're trying to get out of it, you, you're still trying to anticipate their next move as well. <clears throat> you know that, what I mean? And, it's like... Well, and, like, think about, like, in MMA, there's so many disciplines you can train under karate background jujitsu wrestling whatever it may be like bro there's yeah. one way to ride a fucking bike <laughs> like, I don't, there's one way to run there's one way to swim freestyle that's it yeah. you know i gotta like, do three things for a long time whoever i'm competing against they're doing the same, same thing, thing. Yeah. i gotta they just might do them. it faster you're you like know? a nascar yeah. you're like a stock car bob yeah. i'm impressed <laughs> oh my god but yeah fighting's just like Bro, that's a different world, man. I, I'm just mentally, dude. Like getting in the ring to fucking. I watch I know, every I weekend. Like... I, I every weekend I watch fights. Yeah, I love it. I think like that <clears throat> Oliveira Poirier fight was wild. Oliveira is a fucking animal. Animal. He's my guy. Big, <laughs> big, <laughs> big fan. Big I, I honestly knew nothing about him till that night, and I put a bunch of money on him and won. Yeah. <laughs> now he's your man. Yep. Yeah. He won me a bunch. I of could money. barely see the screen. Ask Shane. <gasps> my eyes was, are like this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. We were oh, done. Yeah. I ate a few edibles. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, I was baked into the couch. Nice. Yep. <laughs> You were becoming one with the yeah, couch. Jay thought I was out. He thought I was sleeping, and I, and I jumped up after the fight because I was all excited. He's like, oh, my God, you're awake. I like, I've been awake that. this whole time. My eyes are just closed. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was watching the fights with SJ, and it was just he and I uh, because Hannah and the girls were at a gymnastics meet, and Hannah doesn't want SJ to go to meets because he plays on all the stuff. Yeah. Like, he's on, he's on all the bars, the mats. He's running everywhere, and she's like, he goes, he's going to want to see the girls. Because whenever he's there. He thinks he's, he's here. Yeah. yeah. Or he can just run. So she's like, can you, like, we might take him the one to see how it is. But it was the first meet of the year. Didn't want to be stressed out. Yep. So I had him for the weekend. <laughs> and it was straight guys weekend. Shirts off. Everything just hung out. <laughs> yeah. So we watched. I had the fights on. And he's watching them. And I'm like, he's watching the fights. This is cool. Nice. Yeah. Nice, dude. We're into it. So he's just sitting in my arms watching. We're watching it and going. And then, like, he likes roughhousing. Like, he likes getting his uh, his Grinch Build-A-Bear and, like, rolling around with it. I'm like, I never taught you how to do that. You just – that's testosterone. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Beat that fucker's ass. <laughs> so then we watch it and everything. And then he goes to sleep in the morning. The next morning, he drug out. He has this huge teddy bear. Drug the teddy bear out into the kitchen area. And got on top of it and started it's shaking funny. its fucking head. <laughs> and started smacking it. And I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> this is great. I can't wait to tell Phil. So he hit me up whenever I put po- because I posted. I'm like, watch the UFC. He's, he literally watched it, loved it, and did it to his bear. And Phil's like, we can teach him young. Yeah. And I'm like, nice, Phil. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I was hoping you'd say that. Get him in. Bring him yeah, in. So, yeah, bring him in. so then bring Phil him in. starts sending me videos. Of shit that he had his like three year his three year old uh, nephew doing like how to ride the back and how to like ride out something. Yeah, and I'm like, oh my god, you actually are teaching small children how to do this. He's like, fuck yeah, we can do it. <laughs> I'm like, nice. That's actually badass. That's pretty cool, bro. The shit that he sent that he was teaching, I'm like, he, they're so cool. 
Yeah, like he, they, they, they. It's like me getting excited seeing like young guys in bodybuilding, like Martin Fitzwater. Yeah. Like, how excited I am about him and training. It, he, they get that way with, like, people getting into martial arts. Yeah. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. I love it. <sighs> I'm not the, the, the video you posted in your story with him, you were in your truck. I think you had Judas Priest playing, and he was, like, fist bumping. Bro. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> no. SJ I was literally, it. like. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, I t SJ's on a little bit of a He was doing really good because he was growing, so he was sleeping through the night. Right now, he goes down at, like. 9.45 every night because we get home from gymnastics. 9.45 is bedtime for him. He, <clears throat> But he was sleeping through the night, and then now he's waking up at, like, 5.30. Mm -hmm. So Adeline wakes up at 5.30 for school. So I wake up at 5.30, and I'll sit there with my coffee and all this, get Adeline breakfast ready, all that shit, and he's awake now. So I take him. We have to drive up the driveway for, with the, for the bus stop. So I put him on my lap, and we drive up the driveway, and he fucking loves it. He holds on to the wheel, and he's sitting there. We're playing music. Well, Adeline will turn on the music and put on what she wants. So after we're done, he goes and turns it up. And he plays on there and does it all. I'm like, this is cool. It's a dad thing. And he fucking jams he was, out. He turns it up loud and fucking pumps his fist. Yeah, it gets was, it going. Yeah. yeah, it was perfect. That's awesome. Oh, it's funny as fuck. I'm, I'm a little worried, though. I'm a little worried about him. He's an asshole. Hannah's like... Did, did the girls do this? I'm like, nope. <laughs> they weren't like this one. No. No. No, he's... That bump on his head that months ago that I posted, it's still there. He hits it. He keeps hitting it. Yeah. Same yeah. spot. Yeah. He ha I think it might be permanent now. Like, there's a permanent bump on his head because he's hit it like seven fucking times. Thanksgiving, hit the same fucking spot. Next day, <laughs> same spot. And I'm like, bro, this is bad. I'm like... So this there's never heals. Ever, <laughs> yeah, yep. Doctor said he's good though. Yeah, he got his one one. He did his eighteen month checkup. He's good. Yeah, he's good. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited because this summer I'll be able to do stuff with him outside. I can't yeah. split wood with a one year old. It's a bad idea. Yeah, <laughs> it's a hard one. Yeah, you know. So next year he'll be able to listen a little bit better. I can get him a small axe. Yeah, he can do it himself. Yeah, yeah. He can carry the logs over. Yep. He should not be a pussy. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Put him to work. Dean's kids got in a fight. Really? Did he tell yeah. you? Yeah. Last night. So yeah, soccer game. game. Like, tell him the story. Like a little, like... <clears throat> like no, no, I guess no. like a melee. Not, not... It wasn't a scuffle. Like the malice at the palace? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a royal rumble? Um, yes, yeah, so, yeah. So we were at the Penguins game, and... Uh, I started getting just random texts from Tracy saying, like, fuck, a fight, fuck. I'm like, what are you talking about? You know, and she's like, our girls and Kyla, one of the other girls on the team. And then I was like, so I texted her. That's all she said, our girls and Kyla. And I'm like, I go, you mean the three of them against the other team? And she's like, yeah. And I'm kind of like, of course, she's dealing with it because it was, I guess, happening in real time. And I'm at the game fucking drinking. Fucking, yeah. and, uh, of course you're not home. Yeah, of course I'm not home. <laughs> dad, dad of the year. <clears throat> and, uh. I'm up here fucking off. And, uh, <laughs> I'm at a Penn's game. Yeah, I'm at a Penn's game getting hammered. And uh, yeah, yeah, so she's like, yeah. I said, the three of them versus the other team or other girls. And she's like, yeah. And uh, she's like, I ran down. Like Tracy's like, I, I, I wanted to jump the fence. I'm like, take it easy. What are you going to do out there? Uh, <laughs> Can't go beating up 16-year-olds, yeah, yeah, yeah. mom. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I guess uh, for uh, Peyton and Lexi both play varsity soccer. One's a junior. One's a freshman. Both both play pretty much the whole game. Start fucking awesome. Uh, Lexi's the freshman, fucking badass. Um, it, anyways, from what I understand, I guess I've just got bits and pieces of it. I talked to them last night and this morning as well. But, you know, I guess somebody had fouled Peyton. There was no call. <clears throat> and then Lexi, like, went after the girl. Not, like, after her, but the play continued yeah. and the same girl and Lexi started getting into it and then full on, I guess, pushing, punching and Peyton, uh, I guess comes to the aid yeah. big sister and just yokes the girl. Uh, <laughs> but then like, I guess four or five of their girls, like all jump like onto her. 
Uh, Lexi jumps back in, and this girl, Kyla, who I told Seth, is like, this girl jacked. Like, <clears throat> like uh, I think a couple years ago, she was like sixth in the nation for track. Like, oh, like quads, it's like, it's like, it's like, yeah. she's yeah. like a junior female with like quads like Seth, right? Like just like you walk, she walks by and you're like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Like bodybuilder type quad, just an athlete. Awesome. And, uh, she came in, I guess, just throwing haymakers <laughs> and dragging, you know, just f- drag like, the girl across tra- the field. Yeah. Nice. And, but, uh, Tracy said it was fucking nuts. Like, no, like everybody, like five on five, just people fighting, throwing punches. Pulling uh, hair. Yeah. And, uh. Red cards. So yeah, sure. so so they threw out both my girls and Kyla. I think two of the other girls got thrown out on the other team. Red carded Peyton and Kyla, which <clears throat> typically in uh, in our, in our travel leagues, I think a red card you get like two game suspension or something yeah. like that. But in high school, uh, it's like a six game suspension at least oh, for fuck. us. Yeah, because a girl last year got a red card uh, for doing some stuff and then mouthing off to the ref and all that. And she missed like six games, so I think that's what Peyton and Kyla might get now. Um, but yeah, that, that, so shit. yeah, so but Tracy just said it was fucking crazy. You know, parents screaming, yelling, and I'm like, and they never like my girls never get in fights or trouble. But you know, I was like, I told Seth, I'm like, I'm not mad one bit, dude. I'm like, I'm I'm actually like proud. You look proud. Yeah, I I, I seriously <laughs> the story was. Had a yeah. lot of like, yeah. I'm like, you, you can't be mad, dude. Like I'm like. The sisters backing up each other, coming to the aid, fucking Fuck each yeah. other. I'm like, that's what I want, always. Yeah. And uh, they called me after the game. They were pretty amped up. They're like, yeah, you know, fucking just how it is. Any, anybody after a fight, they're like, they're both talking. I'm like, fucking can hardly hear. They're like, yeah, then Kyla came in throwing punches and dragging some girl across the ground. And, fucking, and I was like, yes, like, this is fucking great. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, I even texted them last night, too. I was like, I did literally text. I didn't even include Tracy on. I texted. I texted Peyton. I, I texted Peyton and Lexi. I said, "I'm so proud of you guys." And I said, "Though <clears throat> I go, that's how it should be." I go, not just in sports or you guys are playing the same teams. Yeah. I said, in life, you guys have to have each other's back. Fuck people up. Do, always protect your sisters, no matter what. And I'm like, it sucks because you're probably going to be suspended now for like six games, and obviously that hurts. But. uh I was like super fucking proud of you guys, and then I then I go and tell Kyla your dad's super proud of her, <laughs> like coming to help. Let's go. But yeah, like then I talked to Tracy this morning. She said it was fucking crazy. She yeah, said, I don't even know what to do. It was but, like fucking a melee out there I on the bet, field, dude. That's fucking wild. So whenever you see that, like, so say you were like a, like a high school star junior, like Kyla, yeah, yeah, and she's getting looked at by colleges. Okay, like if she's getting looked at and this occurs, if I'm the coach. And I'm like, oh, you got a red card. What'd this girl get a red card for? And then you hear the story, and you're like, so you want to play for my team? Kind of, yeah. Kind of want you on my team. I don't kind of actually fucking want you on my team. Because those are the people that have the grit. Yeah. They got some intensity. Mm-hmm. They got some fucking, like, like love for, the, for their self, for their sport, yeah. for their teammates. They're like fucking, like, it's, their sports are supposed to be competitive intense. Like I'd be popped. Yeah, like that's and that's how I was even last night, you know, uh or in even like even when I got back to the hotel and even talking to them this morning, I'm like not one bit was I ever like mad. You know what I mean? I'm like, fuck, I was like more pumped and happy and proud. You know, I'm like I think... that that like I said, the suspension part's gonna suck, especially yeah. her missing time <clears throat> as a as a junior. Uh, Lexi didn't even get carded, so she probably I don't think she'll be suspended. The coach might punish her maybe, but uh fuck that shit. But, but yeah, it's like, dude, I couldn't even ask for, like, <laughs> I'm happy. Like, fucking, you know what I mean? Dude, girls' soccer can get, get yeah, and Yeah, and neither, neither of them have any, like, reputation. You know, you know they never yeah. get in trouble on the team. They're always, I mean, like I was telling Seth, they both start. They both play the whole game. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't have any issue with fouls normally or whatever. So it's like. No, uh, that's the competitive spirit. Yeah. It's supposed to be that way, damn it. You're supposed to want to yeah. fuck the other team up. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to want to. I don't care if we're friends. If we're competing, I'm yeah. like, I'm so excited for you, but I'm here to kick you your ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if like, there's, you're not supposed to be like, I love you so much. I want you to do so good this weekend. Well, the, no. The, the, good the, luck. The, fuck you. The yeah. coolest thing though for me, like, so they've played. So Lexi's two years younger, <clears throat> and they used to play on like all. I have four daughters, as most people know that know me or whatever follow me but all four play travel soccer uh for a long time they're all four they're all different ages so they played different teams which is a fucking nightmare logistically and yeah so um 
but like two or three years ago, Lexi, who's two years younger, uh, she moved up because one of the teams like dismantled. So she came up to Peyton's team. So even when she was like 13, she's playing with like 15 year olds and 16 year olds. And she's just fast as fuck, never gets tired. Uh, she's a complete badass. Good and for uh, you, huh? y- yeah, the speed for sure yeah, for me yeah. and endurance. Um, but yeah, but she, so, <laughs> but so I've watched them play on the same travel team for the last couple of years, which is cool. But for some reason, it's a totally different feeling. I don't know why watching them play high school soccer together. Really? I don't know why. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it's just weird because I've literally watched them play on the same team. So I've, I've watched them pass to each other and score and d- like different shit set each other up and be on the same field for literally the last two or three years and travel, which is travel is usually more competitive than high yeah, school and stuff. I, yeah. So it, it's just odd though now when I see them playing high school together as a freshman and junior and doing the same shit. So like it's a completely different feeling for some reason when I'm in the stands. You watching. think it's like a nostalgic thing? Uh, maybe because they're like representing the high school like high or something. School, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really weird. Like, I don't even know how to explain it myself. I'm like, it's almost more of like a proud dad moment watching I'm like, Oh my, yeah. watching them set up plays and do whatever. But I'm like, I've been, it's weird though. Cause I, like I said, I've been watching them do it for the last travel, two, three years. Travel but, has more prestige or more yeah, weight for colleges. I think now, I think back in the day it did not, but yeah. I think from what, yeah. cause Tracy follows all that stuff <clears throat> way more than me. She's a, uh, I mean, she's played soccer like her whole life. Oh, she does. She did. Yeah. Like tr- she played soccer her whole life. She used to coach, uh, even when all of our girls were young, she was coaching. Oh, um, boy. so she used to coach them. Didn't know that. Uh, her dad, th- their whole family, she has two brothers. They played soccer. Her dad played soccer, coached. Her dad used to referee NCAA soccer. So her oh, dad knows boy. fucking every rule. And he still, like, studies shit. Like, he knows everything. Yeah. Oh, they just changed this rule two years ago. Like, he knows that, like, type yeah. of shit. Yeah. And uh, me, I'm just like, there are a bunch of foot fairies out there running around the field <laughs> kicking a ball. Like, I don't know anything. <laughs> No, it was. <laughs> no it was. but I've, I've never I've never been a soccer guy, but my kids have literally played their whole lives. So I just go and I watch. And, yeah, and soccer fun. dad. Yeah, so, um, but I think it's switched over now where I think from what I've heard, like, yeah, colleges are looking at a lot of the travel stuff yeah. more. So because, it's, because and, and Shane is a big soccer guy. It's like with these professional leagues coming. Is he awake over there? Uh, there. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> but... I think with all these like professional leagues and all that, because a lot of the professional leagues have like little clubs as well. So we have like Orlando City in Orlando, which is the men's oh. soccer team. So there's clubs in Orlando for the kids. They're, they play for Orlando City, which is like fucking super expensive and big, deal. big prestige. Yeah. So I think now, like you said, like it almost gets looked at more so than high school. I mean, I'm sure they're still looking at high school, but just yeah. probably it's probably weighted more though. Yeah. Yeah. Studs, but but yeah, I mean, man, that's exciting. I love yeah, shit like that. But probably better though that I wasn't there. Like you know, like honestly, yeah, like me and you, Tracy, you, you can't fight other parents. No, but like honestly, I'm not like we both said that this morning. Like she's even like, yeah, it's probably better like you weren't there, bro. Then I start, sh- you yeah. know. If, you'd be like, yeah, take yeah. her head off. Fucking kill her. <laughs> like, parents would be like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? <laughs> if, if something like that happened and my kids were involved and then some, yeah. and like a parent said something or a parent was like going to do something about yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Or it's anything just... get involved. That's when I'm like, kids are, they're kids. They're supp- you're supposed to have these feelings. Like, you're supposed to have like, like intense, like, fuck you moments. Like, yeah. that's what builds character. You know what I mean? But then, like, when a parent gets involved in the kids thing, it's like, no, no, yeah, no, no, no get, you back the fuck off. <laughs> then Let it gets the kids ugly. be kids. Let yeah. them do it. There's refs out there. There's coaches yes. out there. They handle this shit. If, mm-hmm. Like, you know? during wrestling matches, there's parents that would get into fights. And it's like, no, dude, they're kids. They're supposed to do this. Yeah. It's fucking wrestling, dude. That's what I mean. Like, it's but that, but a that physical happens. sport. Yeah. Stuff like that happens all the time, though. Now, we, we hear, like, I haven't been around much of it, but I know, you know, I have lots of friends that have kids that play football and, and baseball, like, I hear all the time there's, like, full-on parent fights at the fields and stuff. It's oh, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I can't, I can't imagine, like, having a full-on fist fight There was with one some that guy happened over in, like a, at, my in Lower Borough. One of the parents in Lower Borough, uh, like, uh, apparently something happened where, like, dude went and hit a kid. Like, he fucking jacked one of the kids and then took off into the woods. Oh, shit. Yeah. Something like that. I don't know the exact story, yeah. but I remember reading about it from last year. And I'm like, remember, wait a minute. I remember you bringing that up. Yeah, it was something like that. And I'm yeah. like, what the fuck do you mean? And I'm like, yeah, apparent, like, apparently kid got hit wrong and parent didn't like it or something. So he went and hit the kid. And it's like, no, that's not what you do. You don't hit yeah. the child. <clears throat> fuck. <laughs> No, you go hit their parents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seriously. I mean, I, I, yeah. But they're ki- like, it's, 
they're kids. You're so, that's what yeah. that's like. You can't get so involved where like you're taking away from their development. Mm-hmm. You know, like like kids have to fail. Yeah, like they have like the p- participation trophies have to leave. We we've all realized partic- tr- participation trophies are a bad idea. You know, we should no longer be handing those out. Mm-hmm. It should be a competition. If you take first, second, or third, you get a trophy. If you don't, you don't get one. Nope. Yeah. That mentality has to come back. Mm-hmm. I, it has to because it's like in life, like like we're telling what people they're like good job in way too many instances. Whenever it's like, yeah, you might have did a good job, but I don't want just a good job. I want you to level up. Like I want you to excel. Mm-hmm. So like, good good job. But what are you doing tomorrow? Like, yeah. like, let's get better because in life, that's the things we should strive for. We should strive for do cool shit. Yeah. And you do that, and I, th- uh, I think through sports, like it helps <clears throat> develop them because they need to be able to take all those feelings and mentality from sports into life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think for any uh, a mess, and you know, obviously, with your daughters, they're complete badasses. But like, I, I think a good message for any parents, anybody listening that has young kids. I think I love sports no matter what it is. I, I think sports, number one, besides everything that it teaches your kid, like you, like some of the stuff you just said, um, but I think it also, I mean, it just keeps them occupied and keeps them out of trouble for the most part. Um, besides really when your point. daughters are fighting on the soccer field. But, I mean, for the most part, it, it uh, you know what I mean, though? Like, yeah. I, like we, me and Tracy talk about that all the time. I'm like, because we, we know obviously a lot of people with, parents with kids and stuff and none, they don't do anything um and there's nothing wrong with that. i mean if you could be a straight a student and whatever but i'm just saying like i can't imagine my kids not playing sports is i guess I, my point it's like i think it just well, teaches them even like just like me growing up in high school seeing like the, the people that got into some shit or got into mm-hmm. trouble they they didn't have anything to do from 2 30 p.m for yeah. the rest of the night they had yeah. nothing to do after school you're yeah. gonna but, find but trouble in fucking yeah trouble. Yeah, because when you do, I, you, I, you I, hang yeah. out at school. Then you're like, "Hey, I'm walking home today," and then you like, "Hey, I'm going to walk over to Sheets." Right. Hey, I'm going to go over here. Yeah. I'm going to do. The, and I mean, that was me. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> it's okay. But, I'm not the example here. Yeah. <laughs> but how many times have I said, like, if I don't have the gym, I find trouble? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and yeah. people are like, "Ah, oh, no, you don't." And I'm like, "Oh no, I do. I yeah. I, I like the fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. Even as an adult, it does not matter. You will find trouble." Like, oh, it's yeah. inevitable. So, like, the gym and my intense my intense personality, like, I like it. It occupies me. It puts me into a place, and from that, I believe that that's how all this occurred. Mm-hmm. Like, it occurred because of my intense personality. People like intensity. They like the idea of it, and then some people actually enjoy it. But everybody loves to watch it. Yeah. Like, like it's fighting. Like, Shane, into fights. Everybody's into fights. Why? Because it's the most primitive thing on the planet. Like mm-hmm. Dana White said, what is that? He said something like that. He's like, if there's a football go- game going on, a soccer game, mm-hmm. a soccer game going on, fight breaks out. Everybody's like, yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh my God, <laughs> fighting. Oh my God, this is insane. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I. But from from the occupy being occupied, yeah, got to, like you, you run Ironmans, occupy your brain, hundred percent, yeah, everybody, like that's it's something that people, everybody has something that occupies them. The, the four extra hours I have a day, I train my balls off <laughs> to make sure my mind's occupied. Otherwise, I think of all sorts of type of shit. You, and that, bad, and it's, bad things or like I'm either thinking bad shit or I just yeah. start eating shit. Like I start eating oh, the yes. worst foods. But on I was planet. just gonna say like that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Like people use food to occupy themselves. Yep. Think about like like. <laughs> exactly. Are you just talking then, about me? But every right, single, right here. <laughs> you know how we joke about our significant other <clears throat> not want to put up with our shit. Oh yeah. And we're like, oh man, like I'm a little we're, intense to live. We're with. not really joking though. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, but then if no. you talk to our significant others. And, like, you break things down, and after a while, they'll make fun of us, and, like, we do ourselves, and everything's fun. But then they're like, there's way worse things out there. There, there is. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. could you imagine, like, ho- ho- hookers and blow. Yeah. You could get into fucking women. You can get into trouble. You can get into the bar. You can get into doing the wrong things. There's way worse things than you being like, so I'm going to go ride this 
fucking bicycle for four hours a day for 365 days. I'm going to swim in the morning every morning for six days a week. We're going to go do open water swims, and then I'm going to do an event. Okay. And then and then she's like, at least he's not doing hookers and blow. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, wow, you got a swell significant other over there. And you're like, no, the hookers and blow would be 365 days a year. I'd rather have this. This yeah. is much more, yeah. But <clears throat> those are in, when you break it down to it, that is a very simplistic way to look at it. Yeah. I just, I started laughing. I, I kind of f- I forgot what happened last night at my household. Well, <laughs> so, uh, like, so it's, some hookers yeah, came so, over. No, no, it, it was it it <clears throat> No, I, uh, <laughs> I decided I, I was going to tell Kim about a purchase that I made. Oh, oh no. Yesterday. Already no. jumped the gun, huh? No. I just, I thought it was a good timing. I got, we, were, like, <laughs> we discussed that it was not a I good know. time. I know it wasn't, but I thought I was in the moment. I was a little stoned, okay? Oh, fuck. And like, we're sitting there, like, we're standing around the kitchen. We had, we had dinner. And like, she's like, she's like this on her phone. She had a smile on her face. And I'm like, I think this is, I, I, I might slip in here. <laughs> she's like, I'm enjoying I'm watching a fucking dick talk. Hey, I'm gonna sneak so like, I come over to the room. counter and I'm like, I was like, hey. And she's like, yeah. I'm like, so I was like, you love me, right? <laughs> oh my God, I swear God. to God, I started it like this. Oh my God, and she's God. like, face it, like phone down. She's like, oh my God. Oh, I was like, oh fuck! I was like, this isn't a good this time. I was like, moment. I was like, oh yeah! I was like, yeah, I love you too. And she's like, she's like, what did, what did you do? She's like, what did you do? Oh she's my like, god! What did you buy? Oh my god! And she's like, she just like kind of turned around. I was like, oh, she already no. knows. She already knows what I bought. Oh my god! I was like, no. I was like, I don't know. I, I bought. <laughs> I was like, it's nothing like of the amplitude of like the other things I bought. Oh my god! I was like, it's still a car. But it's not like the other oh cars. My God, Bob. She's like, Bobby, she's like, Bob. I'm going to fucking kill you. Oh, my God. And I'm like, oh, damn it. I was like, oh damn God. it. I was like, I thought this was like the perfect time. I was like, why are you mad at me? And like, I started smiling and like, she's like, you look like a little fucking kid right now. She's like, get out of my face. Oh, my she's God. She's like, get out of here. Oh, my God. And like, I'm standing there and like, I, I was like, oh, she's like almost smiling. Like, she's just like, and I was like, oh, no, she's not smiling. Like, she's <laughs> She's not good. <laughs> she's not good, no. So, like, we, she's like, she's like, I asked, like, if we could buy furniture for here. And I asked if we could do this. And I've been wanting to have a painter in to paint this room. And she's like, you give me shit for all of that. I'm taking. I'm like, no. I was like, just book them. I was like, call. I was like, do you know a guy? I'm like, line it up. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. So she's like, no, like. She's like, why do you do this? She's like, why do you give me such a hard time? And then you just go do whatever the fuck you want anyway. She's like, is this like happening? I'm like, yeah, it's getting delivered Thursday. <laughs> and she's like, oh my God. She's like, this week? She's like, get the fuck out of here. So like we went over, sat on the couch and I was like, I was like, you mad at me? I was like, we were having such a good night. And she's like, I'm not fucking mad. She's like, you just, you oh just don't think at oh all. I was like, you didn't think at all. Oh my god! But I was way off. Like I was, I thought for sure it was like the perfect time. I'm like, this is the perfect time. This is it. After the whole conversation yesterday, like, I was I'm gonna more. Wait. I was, <laughs> he goes home that night and tells her. Bro, I was losing it yesterday when I found out. I was like, oh my god, I couldn't stop. We were talking about it here, and then Kim walks. Like I heard her voice. I'm yeah, like, she came in right. I was like, that. oh fuck. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Maybe you should have told her in a public setting. It might have went over <laughs> all of us. That would have been the worst. If I would have told her in front of people, it would have been the worst. Worst thing. Because <clears throat> she would have lost it on me in front of everyone. Yeah. I love you, babe. Dude, that is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided to tell her last night. Like, we had a long conversation so I, about this. I was like, we had plans. I was like, we had want, ideas. I was like, you want to see it? She's like, fuck no. <laughs> She's like, no, I don't want to fucking see it. And like, I kind of like, I was like, hey. And she's like, hmm. So like all the other ones, right? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was like, but the color, it's so cool. <laughs> it's a different color. So I'm also going to do like something really cool to Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> it's, so it's already cool. <laughs> But I was actually, like, on the outside looking in at how I approached her. Like, straight up little kid. Like, you know, you did something real, yeah. like, you fucked up something at the house, and you're like, 
we had, hey, we had mom, you like, had a really good plan. Yeah, I like you had a really like good plan. Yeah. You had a good plan. That was not a typical to tell man her. plan. That was yeah, a typical yeah. man plan. Well thought out, everything. Like I thought it was solid. I literally thought about <laughs> that for almost thirty seconds before I delivered it. You so. should have just. You should have just, like, let it come and be like, I didn't order that. <laughs> Pulled, like, the fucking... I look like, at her like, babe, you for that. Christmas? Like, oh, I didn't get you nearly a nice enough gift. Like, I should have played it off. I called the painter. Yeah. I yeah. got painters coming, too. Yep. <laughs> okay, so listen. Great. Like, I get it. Uh, yesterday, whenever, whenever, uh, whenever I found out, I was losing it. Losing it. He was dying. I, I'm like, oh my god! Like, I feel like we're watching something that like is that we've never seen before, and we know that anything that like that. I'm like, I'm into it. I'm like, I cannot believe this is occurring right now. And uh, like, who has a Porsche collection in a year? I mean, I'm a collector now. I'm a collector. You're into like it, like Dean. Like Dean likes to collect. You know what's stuff? so funny about that story is <laughs> <laughs> the whole no, fucking thing. You no, know, but like, and I'm sure you probably go through the same thing, like. No, I don't. No, not, not, with the, not with the Porsches. But no, but I'm saying Kim's responses are literally the exact same type of things like that, that Trace is. Like if I buy something, that she'll bring up stuff like she like, I want to do this to the house. And then my response is the same as yours. I'm like, yeah, well, get it done. Yeah. Like I say the same thing. Like you try to like back it up. Like, yeah, we'll do it. Well, line it up. I'm like, just do it. Like, She's like, you literally told me last week to wait till the new year. She's like, what the fuck does that mean? It's funny, dude. It's like, I don't know. He was losing it yesterday. Like, oh. like, like last night when we were out, John said something weird because we were talking about it. And John even said, he goes, I haven't seen Seth laugh that hard and so, like, ever. He's like, he was dying. Like, out of, Bro, I couldn't breathe. I <laughs> could not believe it because I'm, like, going through. I, Bro. <clears throat> Bro. And then the planning that went into, like, not telling her. It was really, it was solid. I know. Lasted I about, thought it was good. Lasted about six hours. He went home and told her. <laughs> I was going to break it out in the spring. Like May 1st. Oh, this this old thing? I, this was the first one I got. I had this. You know. Oh, my God. You painted it. I had it painted months ago, you remember? fucking liar. Bro. Oh. She, then she started comparing it to like when I was really into collecting sneakers. Yeah. She's like, she's like, look at your closet. She's like, we filled up closets in a four bedroom home. Yes. She's like, this is a fucking problem. Yeah. She's like, are you just gonna start hoarding fucking cars? She's like, you can't just stack cars everywhere. Did I'm you, like, did you tell her you almost didn't tell her? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I, I did didn't. I, I thought yeah. I, I she knows I, now. I know. That regardless. I know. Like, I just fuck. thought about that. No, maybe I, like, I shouldn't no, have said like, that. I was like, I wasn't even going to tell. Thing. Well, my relationship so is built like, on lies. I initially started saying like, like I started to get mad at her, like it was going to be a good move. I was like, well, I wasn't going to tell you, and she's like, she's the like, don't. Psychology. Yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah. don't even come at me like that. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I mean. I thought about not telling you. I'm sorry. Did the reverse thing. All yeah. The time. I'd be like, I'm gonna fucking get madder at you now. Yeah. Because I was so bad. I was like, I thought she was gonna be not happy, but <laughs> of all this, you're you're like you you that. I wish. I wish. I wish I, it was on film. I know. I, do. I wish that whole thing that <laughs> yeah. transpired yesterday was like a fucking series. Was, if that would have been like a clip, like an 18 minute video, that yeah. would have been fucking ridiculous. It, it was like a fucking movie. It, it was. was. It was right on the. It was right on the corner of the island, right, right by the stove. Like we were just hanging like, out there. From, we charge our phones there on the corner, and she was looking. I'm like, this is perfect time. Swoop in. I cannot believe <laughs> this seems it. Like, like a good time. Like that's okay. So everything that transpired here when we found out, and then you come walking, and I'm like, man, I'm so excited for this story to happen. <laughs> like, the anticipation of a movie of the show would have been like, yes, it's about to happen. Then you go home, and it's like, what's going to happen at home now? Is he going to tell her? They're like, oh, my God, he's breaking the news now. I thought this was going <laughs> to happen in season two. He's excited. He's excited. It's going to happen. <laughs> God. Like it's a, it's filming me walking around thinking in my head. <laughs> yeah. Well, should I tell her? Yeah, it looks she's in a good mood. Yeah, I'm gonna tell her. Yeah, fuck yeah, it's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> I complimented her dinner, which she made amazing soup, by the way. Oh. Exactly how I would have made it, which is okay. the right way. Right, of course, of course. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that was that was fun. <laughs> yeah. We didn't talk much the rest of the day. <laughs> what about this morning? She How'd did. She bought me a coffee. Oh. She bought me a coffee on the way <clears> home. <throat> so yeah, I, I think be good we're to cool. go now. Yeah, we're good. 
Yeah. I'm sure she forgot all about it. I think so. <laughs> Water under the bridge. Yeah. Wait till it gets dropped off. <laughs> it re-sparks all the uh, emotions take, again. I haven't taken it home. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Yeah. <laughs> so I totally forgot about it. Man. That's the, it really is one of my fucking it might be my favorite story of the year. <laughs> it's like a fucking I don't know. So I walk I walk I, d- I leave the bank yesterday, I come back, I walk in here. You you you, you <laughs> two are sitting in here, Mike's in here, and I beeline it for the shelf to grab a bottle and everyone just starts fucking dying. Right? Crack <laughs> I'm like, Oh, everyone knows in here for sure. Because I, I was like, because Mike's here, I'm like, it's like, hey, I was like, where'd Bob go? And he's like, Well, and I'm like is everything okay? Like, everything's okay. Something happened. Like, you know, I was like, oh, Kim, the dog, anything. Uh-huh. And then he's like, he's at the bank. And I'm like, no, he's not. Like, I knew exactly what you were doing there. He's like, transferring a little bit of money. And I'm like, oh, no. And he's like, I'm going to give you one guess. And I'm like, Cadillac. <laughs> That's what he said to you. Yep. Oh, my God. Uh, he's like, no. Oh my God! Yeah, my was, favorite story of the year. Yeah, I think it was a good Tuesday, solid Tuesday. Um. <clears throat> oh, internet, internet's gonna love that one. Yeah, I, I just wish. So I, you're gonna have to get that fucking Steve Ray from down at Porsche, when they came here for the other Porsche. I think that's his name. He's the photographer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to get him out. Yeah, I actually talked to him the other day when we went and got. Kim's tires on. He was all fired up. Oh yeah, he loves our shit. Yeah, yeah. Or Jay will take them off. Yeah, yeah. You should, you should line your driveway with them. That would be fun. I think you can. Yeah, you have enough now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is number six. Mm, yes. Porsches, not cars. Porsches. Yes. Six. Yes. I didn't even know. I was actually debating about um, uh, buying the GT4. <laughs> really? No, it's a oh. joke. Oh. It's a joke, complete joke. <laughs> yeah. You can't get them yet. I, I know. <laughs> you seriously can't get them yet. Nowhere in the country right now. Yeah. You can get them in Germany. I only talked to like four guys about it. <laughs> That would be number seven. That was a serious fucking problem. That would be number <laughs> seven. Yeah. I didn't. So the, I, I was joking. I sent you messages about I'm like, oh, cool, the GT4. I didn't know it was brand new. Mm-hmm. So there's a GT2, GT3, and then the GT4. And I'm like, hey, maybe you can get the GT1 and make, collect the whole set. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know if they make it. That was a joke. And you're like, oh, no, they do. Yeah, they do. Uh, they don't make it anymore, but they were original <laughs> track cars. I think the last one went, what, what did I say? Like, like eight, one. One or two million? Yeah. Three million? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not interested in that one. Not yet. <laughs> not right now. I don't have any room. Kim, Kim might be pissed about that one. Yeah. Yeah, that one she might be pissed that about. I, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Bro, this is, I love this. This is the funniest thing I've heard in a long time. Yeah. I think it's a riot. I Kim. thought it was fun. I thought, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You didn't tell Mike yet either, did you? What? What happened last night that you told no, him? No, oh, yeah. no. He'll die, too. I'm, I'm I, li- I'm I literally like, forgot about it till like... Especially because we, we had, like... We started talking yeah. about the significant others and... How we're such good significant others. Yeah. <laughs> I actually didn't even laugh that hard last night. <clears throat> I'm I, sure you did I was nervous. <laughs> I bet, I was dude. nervous, yeah. That's the part, like, uh, like, you and I have known each other for a while now. Like, mm-hmm. I really still haven't figured out that that, that was a good idea. And how you thought it was. <laughs> I'm very rational with almost everything, except for like decisions like that. <laughs> yeah. But I agree. I agree. I just have like that mentality that it's never going to come again. I have to pick it up and collect it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people might have thought that that was a joke. Yeah. Like last year when we brought this up on the podcast, and mm-hmm. like that's like your personality. Yeah. It's not. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. It's gotten worse. Well, or I it, shouldn't say worse because worse gives it like a negative connotation. It's gotten worse, yeah. So Because <laughs> now like I don't even have to sit, sit, sit on them. You don't even sit in it. You're like, <laughs> no. that one. Look at that. Fucking Oklahoma. Just yeah. yeah, this one's not even in the state. No. I don't even know the guy. 
<laughs> I texted him. <laughs> I hope I get it, you yeah. know. <laughs> just venmo him the money. That happened with the black one I got. Like, we, we were bringing the... That was a shady... That was a little shady. Oh, really? Not shady, but, like, the transaction was just a little off. Like, just a little... The order in which the transaction occurred was weird. I, I traded the Benz, but they picked the Benz up like four days before I received the the 911. Hmm. And we were like coming down here to drop it off. And Kim's like, so you're getting it today already? I'm like, no, they're picking up the Benz. And she's like, you're giving this car to someone? She's like, do you know them? I'm like, I mean, no, not really. <laughs> car even, guys. I was like, I haven't even <laughs> talked to the, the, the guy that's picking it up. And he, she's like, what the fuck? She's like... They could just be taking your car and, like, you get nothing in return. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, yeah. That, I was like, that could be something that occurred. And then I started bugging out. I'm like, damn. I was like, should I take my Glock down? Like, I should probably I should probably carry a firearm just in case this guy is, like, a complete shade ball. And then it pulled up and there was a Porsche on the side of the, the trailer. I'm like, I think we're yeah. in good graces yeah, here. Yeah. I was like, I think we're good. The Porsche logo did it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like I was I was a little nervous and then like a couple days went by I'm like fuck I'm like hopefully I get this car yeah because usually it's, it's like a, oh usually it's like a like a they drop it off they pick it up yeah. and then handshake we're and yeah. we're good but yeah this one this one was different do you think she wants you to go back to connect collecting sneakers instead of Porsches or no you can get a lot of sneakers <laughs> she said I'm not allowed any more sneakers until I throw some out yeah Cause like I keep even like my old ones. Oh, dude, yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have something from like issues. five, six years ago that literally Same. I've never like worn like once. Like, so like, you I, have you have an issue. <clears throat> yeah, I probably have. Would you like to talk about it? I probably have. I don't. I have probably about 120 pairs of shoes. Oh my god. And like and a lot of them, like I have like Jordans stuff I've never even worn. Like still in the, like never even worn once. But I look at them like, and I'm kind of. I wonder like why do I. Why am I buying these? Like you still do? I'm sure you do that too sometimes. I, I look at them now and I'm like, I should literally be selling all these fucking. Yeah, shoes. like, like I could literally make a small fortune. Like I have buddies that sneakers. will like that know, down payment. Like uh, how I am with shoes, and they're like, dude, I own like three pairs of shoes. You know, I have like 120, and I'm like, and half the time I wear Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like, like, I wear these fucking <clears throat> fifty dollar Vans. Bands, this yeah. is the same pair that I got. I got these. I think I got these at the beginning of the fucking year. I wear them every fucking day. Yeah. Every day. Yes. Yeah. I also Not counting like, the shoes that you fucking run in. Yeah. They aren't cheap those, either. Those, I don't even consider those part of the collection. Yeah, no. Those no, are like your saying in general. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like those shoes are a big deal too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have, I probably have 10 pairs of Jordan 1s that haven't even been laced up yet. Yeah. At least. And then I have Jordans that are uncomfortable that I will never wear. Ever. Yeah. I will literally never wear them. Like, I have a couple pairs of Yeezys. I think they're fucking terrible. Yeah. They're not comfortable at all. There was a pair. Oh, I have a, a pair of Nike SBs. They're the Grateful Dead ones. They're like, they're fuzzy. Yeah. They don't fit at all. Yeah. <laughs> literally the most expensive shoe in my closet. I can't wear them. I should sell them. This is unique. Mm -hmm. This is a special time. I, like, Ooh. sneak them into the house now. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Do you have any? Well, see, bad, Shane? Uh, I collect Funko Pops, like the little Funko. Yeah, toys. yeah, yeah. Got one coming today, actually. You have Shane, a lot of do those, you have? Right? Do you have something that you do? No. Okay. Is there anything that you would like to do, like this, like that you perhaps have an obsession with to maybe get into one day? Maybe, but what I, would that be? I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I have one. Do I have one? I'd, that I I'd rather about? take that money Guns. and make it make more money. <laughs> I do. I don't. I just pretend that doesn't exist. That's, <laughs> That's for I, protection. Yeah, delete that from this. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I just want to sound like more important than them. But I don't have a problem with guns and ammunition. <laughs> I do. I have like a hundred thousand rounds. It's a problem. It's like a it's more of a necessity. Though, yeah. Right? I wanted me to be like one of the memes, prepared. like you know the English people looking at peasants. Do you ever see those memes? <laughs> no. That's how I felt yeah. right now until he brought up guns. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I don't Yeah. Fuck. Dude, Blake Blake posted a gun a couple of days ago. It was like last week and I messaged him 
And uh, I said, that's fucking sick. Well, I didn't even know what it was. And he told me what it was. But I think he said it was like 35 grand. Yeah, I, and then he's, what? Yeah. he goes, this is a gun that I Bob needs. That's what he I said. talked what, to him what, about what, it. I don't remember what it was. I was like, what is this badassery? And what, he's, what, what it was 35 grand? It was a, a full auto. Um, it looked like an AK. Yeah. It was I all, didn't it was see all this. black. It was I might have it. Mystic. I might have it in I was my like, DMs. What's that badassery? He's like, bro, he's like, it's a customer gun. He's like, it's not for sale. Like, we don't have this. He's like, a customer brought it in just to show me. He's like, 30 to 40K for this automatic right now. He's like, full auto. I'm like, oh, fuck. I was like, oh. 40 grand for a gun. He's like, yeah, dude. I'd have bought that. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's full auto. Yep. It was badass. I don't have any of those. Well, I actually, I am. Yeah, that's it. That's it, right? Yep. Yeah, he said it was like 35 this. grand. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but he goes, this is a gun Bob needs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I messaged, I responded to his story. Did you ever shoot a full auto? What's that? Did you ever shoot anything full auto? Yeah. It's yep. fucking I never awesome. have. Yeah. Pretty badass. It's like, super cool feeling. There was like a, uh, like a police like military event i went to back home and everyone brought some cool shit yeah 30 rounds lasts way shorter than <laughs> oh my god it's like <laughs> nothing gone. right yeah. yeah you can see the wheels turning in seth's head well it's an investment <laughs> i actually i had a story come up from last year i think we always go up in like december to see Blake and buy guns. Yeah. We, I think we did it last year. Yeah, end of the time. year, we got to spend money. And we, uh, a story came up, and I was sitting next to Kim, and <laughs> I was like, man, I haven't bought a gun like in a long time. This was like last week or two weeks ago. And she's like, she's like, you just bought like three more Glocks. Yeah, like you a did. month ago. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck. You're right, I did. She's like, they're in the bag. Like, she's like, they're in the bag on your desk. She's like, you didn't even take them out of the bag. I'm like, fuck. Damn it. I was like, yeah, you're right. I'm good. I'm good for the, I'm good for the year. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yep. Fascinated with Glocks. I like, I like all firearms. I, mm -hmm. Firearms are like trucks to me. I think they're all cool. Mm -hmm. Except those ones that are tilted. Do they have those down in Florida? Oh, yeah. Or, that's they're, a thing down there? Yeah. Yeah. The ass is all jacked down, and yeah. Yeah, it's weird. So Southern, how did that come about? Do you know the story behind that? No. Southern douchebags. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, mm -hmm. but it's big down there. A lot of, lot of more wheel than tire down there. Yeah. Right? That's not Sticking too big up here. Up, yeah. It's not big up here. There's more tire than wheel here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, like down there you get like nice-ass truck, jacked up, lift kit, big-ass rims, and like low-profile tires on a big-ass truck. It's just, it looks fucking awful. That's got to ride bad, right? Yeah. I don't know. I just don't even think it. It's, it looks I, terrible. I don't right? like the look. No, I'm not into it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're into it, that's cool. Yeah. But I'm not. Mm -mm. Yeah. I like a nice meaty tire. Yeah. Right. Like butt cheeks. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of how I look at it. Yeah. Tires are the butt cheeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> fucking hard to get tires right now. Rubbers. Big deal. Shane doesn't need rubbers. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a good job. Thanks. Jay's like, fuck no, I don't use rubbers either. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a... This was... That was exciting. Good times. Yeah. A little bit of an adrenaline drop I'm, there. My back's sweating like crazy. I could not right believe you fucking told her. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, though. You're honest. I, I've learned. You're, you're good. Nine. Well, one time out of ten, it's been a good thing to, like, tell her up front about something. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think there would have ever been a good time mm. for that. No. It would have been, like, I just, <clears throat> I kind of selfishly told her as well. Because, like, I didn't want her to ruin, like, the drop-off. Like, because, like, when it gets dropped off, I get all excited. And if she gets pissed right then for the first yeah. time, I'm like, fuck, I can't even enjoy this. I got to go in and, like, yeah, make he, her happy again. Yeah, but this definitely will not be the last time you do this. No. So not. I think that, like, even <laughs> – I really like Jay's idea. Like, how, like, oh, drop it off. Oh, you got me this for Christmas. And or just, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't order that. We can't, Who sent we this? can't send it back now, right? I, I, start, I, start, I, start, I start, start calling, calling me, like, guys. Mike, 
No, it wasn't. It wasn't Mike. Seth, did you buy me? No, it wasn't Seth either. I was like, you bought this, right? Right? You're like, yeah, did it come on? Like, they used to confuse whenever yeah. he dropped the kegs off. Oh, yeah. Wrong Mr. Pickford altogether. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry yep. about that. Happens all the time. Or like the delivery guy pulls up. I'm like, you got the wrong house. <laughs> He's like, this is... God damn it, this is the shit that should be out there. And it's like complete, like you, like we should have filmed it and like been like, hey, this is what we're going to do. And we're going to get all the reactions. I might start filming all those situations. Oh my God. That, that's why I'm losing my shit over this. This is why I think it's the best story of the fucking year. I need cameras in my whole fucking house. <sighs> uh, maybe not. No, <laughs> not every Maybe no. not. <laughs> no. No. Maybe, I mean, maybe not in the rooms. <clears throat> I mean, we there might be an opportunity there. Yeah, content. Yeah, a lot of money. Yep. OnlyFans is a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Yep. ASMR. ASMR, Bob and Kim. <laughs> oh, nothing but rhythm. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. <laughs> I could literally hear his balls smacking off of her. Uh, yep, did that. That was me. You hear that? That's me. <laughs> That's, That's me. me, yeah. Man, my heart rates up. Me too. 88. <laughs> this is good times. Yeah, that was fun. I like it. I'm fucking hungry. Well, we do have a little bit of... We, we did have a snack game that we were intending to play. <clears throat> We down for it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. A couple yeah. snacks. Oh, yeah. So we, um, Jake, <clears throat> we have, we're going to. Uh, oh, wow. That time really flew by. I know. I know. <laughs> what do we got? Blindfold. Ah, oh, nice. So we were going to blindfold ourselves and see if we could guess snacks. Tasty cakes. Ah, oh, we'll do the, um, <laughs> just cut the sleeves cut off, the sleeves bitches. Off. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we had this idea since Dean's here, and he is the snack king, and Bob is, I mean, you're pretty close. You're a pretty close second on the snacks. Yeah, yeah. The, the snacks? cereal thing's a big deal. Yeah, it um, is. I'm not big on these type of snacks. We had the idea of getting tasty cakes in and, um, and blindfolding ourselves and seeing if we could guess what tasty cakes we were actually eating. Excuse me. Oh, black one probably better. And um, <laughs> no, I was trying to coordinate a drop off. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> oh, you... she just texted me. Yeah. When's she coming in? Friday. Friday. <laughs> but that was I'm saying the energy. Oh, girl. the big shipment. Yeah. The so she's cases. coming to drop them off right now, but I'm not home, so I'm trying to find out what time. So Tracy's going to have to unload these things? <laughs> well, don't unload them. <laughs> then I told Tracy before I left, stack them up and take a picture so I can post. <laughs> yeah. She's like, get the fuck yeah, out of here, dude. Like 46 cases. <laughs> 46 <laughs> cases of energy drinks. They're 12 packs? Yeah, they're coming 12. So. <laughs> well, they're bringing the ask rain. Him, ask him where he puts them. The rain, comes, put the rain comes in 12 packs, but then they're also bringing me a bunch of the sugar-free monster, which are 24 packs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Um, where do you put these? So <laughs> he loves this. We, yeah, he goes, where the fuck do you put all these like, stuff? Dude, I'm like, at my house, if I had that, a, a wall. Yeah. The whole wall in my garage would be lined. 48 cases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put them oh. in the, what, my spare, one of my spare bathrooms. In the shower stall. <laughs> no, uh -uh. I swear to God. Dude. No, you don't. I swear to God. They're in a fucking ceiling. <clears throat> so I was telling him, like, during, like, the whole beginning of all the shutdown crap and then people hoarding stuff. Like in my one, because we have like a, where I have like that movie room, there's a bathroom right there in that hallway and uh, nobody ever used it. Like people use the actual bathroom, but not, not like the shower and stuff like yeah. that. So when you like open up the curtain, it's like stacked with like just cases and cases of energy drinks and then like toilet paper and paper towels. Like yeah. just fucking just hoard it all in there. Good job, Dean. Like we have nowhere else to put it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's where I'd put it. Yeah. 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 I've never so, we have tasty cakes. Yeah. Uh, Dean being the snack king, you loving snacks. Love Me, I mean, I, this is all nostalgic, old school stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Jay, Jay's got a bunch of snacks over there. This one guy I follow. So, the only thing is, like, tasty cakes is a big deal. The one guy I follow, he's like a power lifter, and he has the Little Debbie lifting team. 
Oh, That's yeah. what his shirts are called, Little Debbie Lifting Team. That's awesome. It's fucking. I buy all his shit. Yeah. Because I'm like, man, I like the Christmas tree yeah. snacks, all those. So like, he he eats them and he reposts all everybody's shit. And I'm like, man, I haven't had these things in forever. Mm. I'm like, I don't even know if I remember what they taste like. I think the last time I ate a fudge round, I put mushroom caps on the fudge <laughs> round. Yeah, mass food. Yeah, yeah mass back food. in. I mean, it was in college. Yeah. So I think that was the last time I ate a fudge round. So I'm kind of curious to see. I'm I'm not gonna eat the whole thing, but I'm, I'll take some bites and try it all. I'm, I'm so we're gonna go in. Did you see they came out? I haven't even I never found it yet, but they came out those Christmas tree cakes. Did you see there was an ice cream? They came out with ice cream this year. I know. I was just thinking this did not work the way I thought it would. My head is enormous. This is a small fucking oh my god leprechaun looking motherfucker with these ears. Oh my god. So how are we doing this, Jay? You're just putting these on plates or something? Yeah. I can't even get this over my head. I can still see. Must be the mullet. I rolled mine. <laughs> Put my hat back on. <laughs> Is this good? All right. So, so first off, we have a classic American snack. <laughs> classic American snack. I have to ask, Jay, there's, ah. a, there's no nuts, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, there's uh, not. Yes, there is. No nuts. Potentially no nuts. Potentially? There is no nuts. <laughs> okay. I know exactly what this is, and it smells delicious. I haven't eaten this in so long. We're just going in? Oh, it smells really good. Mm. This is no nuts. No right? nuts. No. no, there's definitely no nuts in it. Mm. I know. We all know what this is. It is absolute deliciousness. Wow. One of those glazed donuts that yeah. you get in the bag that you know are absolute dog shit for you. Mm. Man, are they good. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, you can smell it before you even bit into it. I need a second bite. <laughs> to make sure. Uh-huh. I need to confirm if Seth is right. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. As a kid, I would eat this entire fucking bag. Like on a Saturday morning watching cartoons. I'd oh, keep, yeah. I keep the... running back mm-hmm. and getting more and more of them. That's just straight. All you taste is straight sugar. <laughs> God, this fucking headband. Mine's like over my eyes. And it's like digging into my face. <clears throat> mm, that was good. I enjoyed it. I'd say like for, uh, for a snack. From a nostalgic standpoint, that's like a... Like an 8-3. I love these little fucking things. Yeah, they're good. They're good. I like the, the powdered donuts. Yeah. Ah. Like growing in up. the bag? Yeah. The, the little t- mini ones? The tasty cake. I yeah. preferred these over the powdered. What about the chocolate ones? Yeah. Like they're yeah. like uh, like the hard chocolate on yeah. the outside. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love those. I still prefer this one over the chocolate ones. I love all. I love all <laughs> yeah. of them. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I, I love all the shit. Not like any of them. <laughs> Jay, what's next? Uh, is anybody taking any guesses on what it is? What, what this is? Yeah. These are those glazed donuts. I think they're called Nicholas. Did you ever get the Nicholas ones? Maybe that's the ones that my mom bought. Do you see that chain or no? Right down. I think they are. Did mm. we say what they are? Donuts. They're donuts. They are crispy, cream crispy cream ones. Crawlers. Yeah. Oh. Crawlers. I've had these at my house. Maybe, maybe, <clears throat> I can't say that. We'll get this podcast deleted. <laughs> It'll ready. be canceled. Oh. Is there another one on here now? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. this is just from the feel of it. Or the shape of it. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. The dildo? <laughs> Hold on a second. I Hold felt, on. I felt, Hold this, on. I felt this before. <laughs> Hold on a second. Nobody eat anything. I gotta, get, I gotta do something real quick. I know what it is. But I have to do something. What are you doing? Don't film me eating this. <laughs> I'm, 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 not, I'm not taking a bite of this in front of anyone. I won't. Yep. So, so after, we're, after we take a bite of it, I'm going to play something for you that I heard on the internet that I think is funny as fuck. <laughs> oh, man. I have not eaten one of these fucking things. These, we, were, these were not something we had growing up. Really? No. We, really? Did, we did not buy these. They're super healthy. Twinkie? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or Twinkie. We didn't buy Twinkie. Bro. We were a Tasty Cake household being that we were from Berks County. 
Oh, that's a thing, right, Jade? Tasty Cakes, Berks County, right? Uh, no, I don't. Th- or, Fuck. I don't know. You're making me second guess. What it. is this? This is Hostess. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Or, uh, I don't like that. Nah. It's been, dude, I, get, I don't remember. It's too about. basic for me. Yeah. Man, I have a layer of grease on my fingers. Yeah, I that. feel it. What is that? That's <laughs> disgusting. I mean, I'm not a fan of Twinkies. I don't eat them. I think they're. We're we're gonna have. To, I'm gonna have to fucking do the fucking uh, the CrossFit workout again tonight. My functional and fucking driveway workout. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this up for a second. Okay, we look like complete dickheads. <laughs> so hold on. <laughs> Dean looks like he's in a gang. <laughs> so, all right. My stomach is going to be mangled. I can already feel it occurring. <laughs> From those two bites, that was probably 50 grams of sugar. Dude, my, sugar. my fingers are the same. So fucking greasy. That's from gross. That I'm going to wipe it on my headband. Armor all? Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, these armor all. So, all right. So. God damn it. Where do I find my archived or saved audio files on Instagram? I've never done this before. I I don't know. Oh, <coughs> shame. Okay, there is that. No. No. Saved. Ha! Oh, here it is. Okay. So. This is this uh, Three Big Balls by Dig Bar Gay Raps. Okay. Big gold dig dig. Three big balls. Look like we playing tennis. He got a big dick. I think his name Dennis. I jerk his dick until that nigga finishes. Dick big and green. It tastes just like spinach. Dude. <laughs> Dudes. I love when they send me off the news. Had to make him nut because his balls were blue. He didn't have a clue. Slide in and out my ass like he's cleaning out gutters. Dick bigger than a stick of butter. Saw that big dick sweet. What? <laughs> What is that? In the motherfucking hallway. He like me and my friends cause we're all gay. We like dick. I like his ass cause it's thick. He gon' fuck my butt till I shit and dick is dry so I spit on the tip. Oh my god. Oh, so that's one of them. That's one of them. There's more. The internet. <laughs> Now, this is the one that I was going to film you. It's a bunch of people filming. We'll, we'll have to take a clip and like get one of us eating the fucking Twinkie. Okay. So it's uh, it's people eating penis-shaped objects. Yeah. And them filming and putting this over it. That nigga, 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 nigga. Oh my God. Like, look. <laughs> oh my god there's a lot of these oh my god it's all over the internet it's all over the internet everybody's eating penis shaped objects and it's all over the place it's fucking hilarious I, I don't eat penis shaped objects in public no no <clears throat> like, it, like if there's like a, a pickle like on the side of my, I won't, will not eat the pickle. <laughs> no, I will not. No, no. Uh-uh. Or a banana in public. Can't, oh fuck no! I'll, carry, I'll break carry, it off. You know, with, with us. Yeah. Just sent me a clip of it said uh, how guys eat bananas in public and or in public, and it was this guy. It almost looked like he was at like an airport, and he peels this banana and like looks around and like breaks off a little piece and then does this and throws it back in his mouth. <laughs> He's like shaking it and just tossing it instead of like actually biting it. I was like... Popsicles, bananas, pickles, Bob won't eat. <laughs> if I'm nope. eating a popsicle, I'll, I'll bite, bite it. it. Yeah, yeah. I'd bite it. Yep. <laughs> oh my God. That's funny. Fucking shit is hilarious. That fucking rap, those raps. He, there's like, I think he had like multiple, multiple songs and they're all over TikTok. All over TikTok and Reels. 
All right, let's go in for let's a couple go. more, Jay. All right. Not a, not a Twinkie fan. I'm going yeah. low on the Twinkie. Yeah. I mean, I know people do like <clears throat> them, but I can't eat them. I'm not even fast. rating it. Nope. Oh, that was a greasy mess. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a long time since I had a Twinkie, but I don't remember them being that greasy. <laughs> they always like that? I thought they were more cakey. Yeah. They seem like a little more condensed now. This one's going to be a little more of a uh, comparison. Oh, oh be man. man. So you got a dark one <laughs> on the left. Uh, on the one on the right. Oh, man. these have some weight to them. Holy mm. shit. Yeah. I know what they are. Yep, I know what they are. I don't know which one you going for first. I might put them both. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one has a little tray under it. Mm -hmm. oh, do you, I don't know if I took them off. Do you eat off. the tray? <laughs> no. uh, oh. The ones are strawberry. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is that called, though? Man. I fucking oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to be strawberry. Yeah. I, I mean, fucking love ho-hos. <laughs> I love them. Are these ho hos or Swiss rolls? I would say the same thing. Probably just a different brand. Like a different brand, right? I think they they are. It's probably the same. Mm -hmm. It's probably the same owner, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Rebranded it and called uh -huh. it something else. Mm. Oh, that chocolate one's fire. Yeah, yeah the ho hos <clears throat> or Swiss rolls. They both are. I like the strawberry one too. I don't like the strawberry that no. much. No, I'm way bigger fan. Uh, I usually like fruitier things. Yeah. Way bigger fan of the ho ho. I love hoes. So I had a. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I had a a, a, a buddy in uh, in grade school that would not eat a ho ho in like one bite. He would peel the skin off of the ho ho and eat it piece by piece, mm -hmm. and then he would peel the, uh, the yeah, yeah he'd peel the fucking skin <clears> off <throat> and eat the piece. Uh, Anthony Frazzini <clears throat> was his name. Turned out to be a genius. Uh, mm -hmm. He went to Carnegie Mellon and built Formula One engines. Um, Man, that's so cool, <laughs> bro, dude. We were in, who we, says that? You know, <laughs> we were we went to grade school together. I designed T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so I became I became a weightlifter and. Uh, I like supplements, mm -hmm. chicken and rice. <laughs> chicken and rice. <laughs> I talk about all the fucked up shit I've done in my life. But yeah, he uh, he would peel it. Um, Thanks, Jay. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah. I finally get that Twinkie shit off my face. Oh, man. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> yeah. The amount of guilt I have from these three bites of oh. stuff is unreal right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, it's not cool. I'm, I'm a little... Um, <clears throat> Sir, are you finished? Yeah, you can take it. Yeah. My stomach's going to be, my stomach, I can already feel it. Do you think it, I'm actually feeling it, or do you think it's in my head? I think it's in your head. I don't know. You're super sensitive. I right? am, yeah. If I, if, if I end up, like, having a, a... I think it's from eating the same meal for, like, two decades. Yeah, yeah it definitely is. You, <clears throat> you could literally eat anything outside of chicken and rice, and it kind of fuck with you. Yeah. Yeah, my yeah. stomach will be fine. And if there's, like, <laughs> even an ounce of dairy, like, forget about it. Yeah. I found out that, like, uh, like certain cheeses don't fuck with me as bad. Mm. Like feta cheese yeah. Oh, yeah. doesn't fuck with me as much big as, like... Big feta cheese fan, man. I love that shit. Oh, yeah. Salads. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I eat salad every night. Oh, this is... This is a brownie. Oh, there's a new one. Look, look at Dean. Dean didn't even touch it. He knows <laughs> what it is. He's <laughs> no, it. I had it in my Oh, mind. yeah. This is Adeline's shit. Oh, my God. I I ate so many of these as a kid. No one yeah. Knows. I don't know, Cosmic Brownie, pounds. whatever the fuck they're called. Cosmic Brownie. Right. Are you like a big cakey or fudgy brownie person? Like Me? when you personally make them? Fudgy. You f <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Fudgy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I like when they're barely done. Oh, yeah, really? That far? Maybe not that far. I, I prefer, I like the corner pieces yeah. of brownies. I do too. I like it because I get so many different textures. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big brownie guy in general. <clears throat> no? Nah, but cookies, I'll eat fucking about six dozen. I'm a not, chocolate chip cookie guy. You sweating? <laughs> yeah, I'm sweating. I don't know if it's the fucking <laughs> sugar. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I don't know if I got any room left. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm taking this blindfold off. <laughs> um, unless you got something like really cool, really good. Jay. I got two more things that are kind of ready to go, but we can trash it if you want. Let's do one more. We'll do one more. 
<laughs> or if you want to do two more, let's do two more, Jay. I'm not making two more. All right, I just kind of picked, I looked up and peeked at you two, and this looks really funny. Well, here, yeah, this will be a different, this will be a different flavor palette than stuff you've had already. Oh. Should we clean our palate? I drank all my fluids. <laughs> I can go for a Dorito. Mm, <laughs> savory. Dorito. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. We know what this is. I don't know if I want to. This is a staple. Yep. I haven't had one of these. Man, before. they got smaller. They did get a lot smaller. That is called but, uh, shrinkflation. Yeah. Is what that's called. This is an oatmeal cream pie. Yeah, oatmeal cream pie. Can I have Somebody these? Say, Somebody say cream pie. Can I have those, Jay? Yes. Ha, it was not. I would not bite that. Oh. I'll wait till you read the. Facts on that. Oh my god. All right. What? So, this is my number one of all time. Really? Yeah. What? The oatmeal cream pie? Yeah. Is it really? Yep. It is the most nostalgic. Oh, yeah. It is the most everything of my childhood. It's not the best, I don't think. It's just the one that nostalgic. Hits, the, hits the hardest home with me. I'm taking this one. They do get a lot smaller, though. You know what I just felt like taking this off and looking up and <sighs> Dean's was off? Have you ever seen the movie Instant Family? I don't know. With yes. Mark Wahlberg? Uh, yep. I don't think so. It's a really great movie. It's really good. <clears throat> it's a phenomenal movie. Uh, Mark Wahlberg is himself, of course, in the movie. <laughs> who else but, would he be? <laughs> who else? It's Mark Wahlberg and Transformers. Mark Wahlberg and all, but okay. So there's a part, like how we just had the blindfolds on. Mm -hmm. um, they adopt they three, they three adopt kids, kids right? yeah. uh, in the movie, and it's like because they're they're uh, they're just workaholics, and uh, they didn't want to have kids, or they were debating about having kids, but they went to adopt kids. Mm -hmm. Well, um, they're at dinner at Thanksgiving dinner, okay, and it's them and uh, them, their family, their mom and dad, and all this shit. Well, the uh, Tom Segura is one of the other husbands. You know who he is, mm -hmm. big comedian. Well, they're saying grace, and um, and like everybody's eyes are closed and they're holding hands, and like Tom Segura keeps his eyes closed, <laughs> and he's th and then they get into an argument during prayer, and like he has his eyes closed and the wife fucking hits him. And she's like, "Would you open your eyes? You look like a fucking idiot." <laughs> That's a really good movie. He, oh, dude, it's, it's I don't, really good. I, yeah, I don't think I saw it. Oh, it's, I, it's, I would know. It's a it's a phenomenal movie, phenomenal. Tom Segura's, yeah, top notch in it. Nope, I didn't see it. There, there's parts in it like they go through all the different things. Like they adopt uh, like a family of children, and one of them is a 15 or 16 year old girl. There's three, right? Three yeah, kids. Right? Three yeah. kids, and like the 16 year old girls gets ends up like in a relationship with an older guy, and he's sending dick pics, and fucking Segura goes <laughs> off again. Like he has a ton of great parts in it. Like the comedic role that he plays is awesome in the movie. It's yeah. like a good movie, though. like emotional. They go through all the shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's good. Oh my god, that is a trout. <laughs> Talking about dude's dick. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> Fucking funny as hell. <clears throat> Man. I think we're all pretty good at snacks. Very easy to guess what they are. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these are not snacks I buy from my home. Never. No. Like, I, I eat cereal, cookies, Cheez Its. Like, yeah, I love chips. big cheese guys. <clears throat> I'm all in. I'm in on chips. Yep. Yeah, pretzels. Yeah. I am probably. I, I guess that would have been something better for us was to do chips instead of these Debbie snacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I probably so good at pretzels that I could name the brand <laughs> of the pretzel I'm eating. Yeah. Like if you gave me a pretzel rod, I'd been like, oh, that's a Snyder pretzel rod. <laughs> these suck. Versus and hers. Oh yeah. Yeah. Way better. Yep. I know penny sticks really well, too. Better salt. Yeah, yeah. Harder salt on hers. There's more of it as well. <clears throat> Those pretzel rings. Shit. They're shit. You know mm. why? Because they're from Snyder. Snyder does not make good pretzels. They make phenomenal barbecue chips, but they're not good at pretzels. Mm -hmm. Hers gets down. I do like the Snyder... Um... Niblets? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not niblets, a big yeah. Niblets fan. I like them. Mm -mm. I, there's something about them that 
I just don't like. Mm-hmm. I actually, I know what it is. Lack of salt. Yeah. 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 Big salt guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And on those, on those in there, the big lack of salt. But they're both Schneiders. Both, they're, right? There's two different there rings are. in there. I think yeah. they're, and both are Schneiders. <clears throat> yeah. Soft bite, too. Yeah. Not a good crunch yeah. on it. But then in reverse, whenever they do the pretzel bits with all the flavoring on them, mm. Snyder, they fuck. Yeah, those are Actually, yeah, those are really good. Be- they're a harder bite. They fuck my teeth up. Do they make those of- twists? Like the yeah, they yeah, also they make the twists. Yeah, yeah. which that those sour cream and onion ones are fun. I like the jalapeno ranch twists. Same. But what I noticed about those is they're almost like eating potato chip because they're a little higher in fat and higher in sodium. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, pretzels are supposed to be a light, fat-free, sodium-filled snack. Right. They're supposed to make me feel not guilty about eating them. Mm. I don't really watch anything other than fat. Oh yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter for me. At all, hmm. it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. You just burn it like off. even the sodium, like high sodium. I'm That's like, okay. Fuck yeah, I enjoy a couple high sodium days a week, mm-hmm. and I know I'm gonna sweat my fucking balls off, and I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I sweated in a 35 degree garage this morning, <laughs> fucking everywhere. Hey, so that heater in my house, mm-hmm. in my garage, fucking kicks. Does it, bro? It's sick. Really? Fuck yeah. I I need one. The heater in the garage. Yeah, it keeps the like you clo- if I close my doors, yeah. leave that bitch on for an hour, uh-huh. bro. It heats it up. I need I need one. Oh yeah, I got a little fucking infrared space. No, here. Uh, this bitch is shit. electric, so it just, oh, it is electric. Just goes right into a panel. Needs its own fucking spot. Yeah, okay, but it goes right into a, right into the uh, right into a panel. And where do you buy them at? Uh, he bought it at like Home Depot. I'll take a picture of it. Yeah, send it to you. Yeah, I need one. Bro, it's because uh, it, it's like forty eight in the garage when we when I get started in the morning. Like it's it's a bit. Bro, much. with my garage door open the other night, mm-hmm. when I was doing that hit workout, with my garage door open and it was like twenty eight degrees, that thing was kicking in the in the in the room itself was fifty eight degrees. Okay, so like with the garage I, door open, if I kick that thing on, if I keep mine closed and sit there, I can sit in a t shirt and smoke a cigar. Does it have like a thermostat on it too? Mm-hmm. Like what? It'll it tell you what it is. Yeah. You, I turn it up and then. Yeah. 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 I need to get one of those. They're sick. It's gonna be a long fucking winter. Yeah, you need to get one. Yeah. Ryan will put it in. Yeah. Boop, boop. Yeah, it just literally runs. It. And actually, it's on that side of the garage that the panel's right there. Yeah. Like, that'd be fucking easy. Yeah. 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 Good times. Dean, I'm excited you're here. Thanks for coming in the town. Excited to be here, as yep. always. We've got a lot of cool shit planned. Mm-hmm. I'm going to need to do a hell of a workout today. I know that. I didn't yeah. even really eat anything. It just made me feel bad. Jay's over there fucking house and sweets. He's like, bitch, I run this <laughs> off every night. You can see the dust right now. Like, There's just wrappers <laughs> everywhere. Jay's like, I've actually been eating all of them. <laughs> I'm my nightstand. I haven't had one. <laughs> Shane's quiet over there. Uh-huh. You okay? Here you go. <clears throat> hey, thanks. <laughs> I don't like these. Give me a Twinkie. <laughs> oh, change a Twinkie guy. <laughs> yeah, get some napkins for that Twinkie. Bro, are you a Twinkie guy? Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. I wish yeah. I had that on film. <laughs> Seven of them came out, not one of them made a machine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Good times. Yeah. Well, everybody, thank, as always, thank you for listening. Mm-hmm. Got a ton of shit planned coming up. Yeah. Transformation challenge. Yes. Good times. I'm excited about it. Mm-hmm. It's a big deal. We're going to do really cool shit with it. Yeah. yeah. Well, a bunch of details soon. Yep. It's all coming out. Mm-hmm. And it's going to fucking hit hard. I mean, we're all... We're, I think everybody's going in on it. Mm-hmm. Are you going in on it? Yeah. Not that I really need to. With the yeah. Phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, you're already... <laughs> <laughs> I do actually uh, need to. Yeah. But yeah, I think I am. That's why I'm just keeping this extra fluff around until we're ready to start. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, I, I mean, Hannah and I at home, we're going to, I told her, cause I was like, I'm going fucking hard. And she's like, I'll do it with you. And I'm mm-hmm. like, fuck yeah, this is going to be sick. Yeah. Cause it's one of those things yeah. that it's no matter what position you're in, whether it's good or bad, mm-hmm. like this is a time whenever you're like, okay, what can I do to level up? Mm-hmm. Like, what can I do to like step up my game? Because having snacks like this is fun. The holidays are great. Going through the holidays, having a cookie, all this. But then every year, that's the New Year's resolution at, yeah. in, in January. Like, I have to get my shit together. <clears throat> I, I want to work out. I want to be better. And the goal that we have is, and, and what we are going, what we did last year and what we're going to do this year is, motherfucker, we're going to take you to a place 
with a large group of people that want to do the same thing. Yeah. You're going to be, you're going to get motivated. You're going to stay motivated. You're going to learn a new discipline. You're going to learn a new lifestyle that you will be attracted to because there are thousands of other people that are in the same position you are that want to do cool shit. It, it, last year was amazing to watch. I mean, obviously we all know uh, of like, and I can, um, you know, there's so many messages that came over of how many people it just that people that didn't even know about Axe and Sledge before that, mm -hmm. and then like the transformation. But I don't know how many messages I got where it, people just thanked, and, and you know, they said this is exactly what I need just to get back, like act, doing activity again, doing working out, whatever it was, and like literally changed people's lives. And like last year, we had thousands and thousands. This year, it'd be twice the size. Um, and there's people are excited already. I did a, like a oh. Q and A sticker uh, a couple yeah. like last week. I think it was a Q and A sticker on my IG story. Of just like goals for 2022, I probably had like 10 or 15 people that said they're like ready for the transformation well, we're challenge. Away, so. We're giving away 50 grand, <clears throat> but then what we're going to do that's different is is we're going to have everyone involved. Mm -hmm. We're going to have so much content and so many people involved from different walks of life mm -hmm. that it, you can't help but connect with somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's the most important thing is to connect with somebody to make yourself better. Like if you're if you already like you like if you're already in a position where you're killing things, what can I do to step up? Mm -hmm. Like because whether you're in the end of the pack or at the beginning of the or the front of the pack, like you can always go to another level. Mm -hmm. And when people see that, that's what they get excited about. And it's like, and then I just want to see people achieve it for themselves. Yeah, I mean, and the, the success we saw last year with everyone, it 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 heavily like is from being part of a group. Yes. You know, because I'm sure a lot of people have training partners in the gym or you go on group runs or, or do whatever, you know, whatever it is. When you're as a group, the accountability is so high. And like for me, I hate letting other people down. Like I'll let myself down almost before I'll let anyone else yeah. down. And when you're in that group and you do it together, like it takes eight weeks to establish like habits. So if you can, if you can really give us all of your time for eight weeks and the people that you'll meet along the way, they're going to hold you accountable. You'll have these new habits at the end that it's just part of your day now. Yes. It's not a challenge to go work out. It's part of the day. Yes. Like you don't wake up and question, um, I don't know if I'm going to go to work today. Well, <laughs> some, of you, some of you guys do, I guess, yeah. but you know, you don't question going to work. So no. why should you question getting that workout in? And that's, you know? and that's a really good point. Like the accountability part, mm -hmm. like, I work out alone a lot. Mm -hmm. And like I said in that video the other day, I posted like, there's times when I want to quit. Mm -hmm. Like, like I just, I just, you just want to, and yep. like you want to push yourself to it, but having a group of people, they don't let you quit. Like in that group, how many times did you see people say like, I fucked up on the weekend, I ate a meal and then I ate another one and I feel guilty. Mm -hmm. And it's like, those are normal feelings. <clears throat> those are normal sure. things that occur. And then people that are more experienced reeled them right back in mm -hmm. And those people didn't fly off the handlebars. No. They got right back on fucking track like you're supposed to. Not because Seth said it. Not because Bob said it. No, it was because the other motherfucker that you sees you and watches you and likes your shit every single day said it's okay. Get back on the fucking horse. Yep. Yeah, the Facebook group is uh, insane last year. Yes, you know, the coolest thing, one of the coolest things, obviously, but everybody posting as weeks will go, people are sharing their transformations or sharing photos. To watch, uh, and I know this came up last year, to see people's, even their facial expressions from like week one to like week eight, they're like smiling. You know what I mean? And you could see the difference not only in their body, obviously, but you could tell mentally these fucking people just leveled up and like happier now, just killing it. Like, it was, it's something that the customer service team, as they were going through everything, that was the big thing that Carly brought up. She's like, People were smiling in their pictures. Yeah, now. they literally, legitimately like, looked happier. Because, like, dude, even taking even a picture their, in your underwear sucks. Yeah, like even their their posture is different because yeah. their confidence is lifted up. Yeah, you know, it, it's it's crazy to see. It is yeah. everybody for everybody listening to this that's going to get involved in this. I highly recommend making sure you're in the Facebook group. Oh, without, without a doubt, it, it literally costs you guys nothing to get involved with yes. this. Nothing. You literally have to sign up and hold yourself accountable every week. Send us the pictures of yourself weekly. That's all you have to do. You don't have to spend a fucking dime mm -hmm. to, to be a part of this. That's it. You know, it, and literally, like I said, eight weeks changes so much, like, in, in your world. You know, you, you, you either have eight weeks of, like, bad behavior or bad habits is going to change you for the negative. Eight weeks of, like, something you've never done. Dude, you're going to level up outside of fitness. 
Like you're going to notice work seems easier. Relationships seem easier. Like it's, it's the, it's, it's how you begin a new level in life. Yep. And it, you know, you noticed it just from your physical workouts. Everybody mm -hmm. does. Mm -hmm. It's something that's just, it's so unique. It's very difficult to explain. You just have to experience it. Yep. And I don't, nobody cares how you're, I, I people get worked up and like, oh, what kind of cardio should I do? In the beginning, just start moving. Just if, move, If man. you don't move, walk. Go just, walk yeah. around the block, man. Walk your dog. Like fucking Mark Bell and his 10-minute walks. I remember like whenever he first started talking about 10-minute walks. And I'm like, 10-minute walks, huh? He's like, it's my third 10-minute walk of the day. And I'm like, oh, you are getting in people's heads. Mm -hmm. You're in people's heads. Like that, that was your goal to, I use manipulate. That's a bad word to use. But he was manipulating them into getting off their fucking asses and going for a 10-minute walk. Yep. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, oh, you got to do 30 minutes on the treadmill. Bitch, I'm not doing 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, just do 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ooh, there it was. And it was how he explained it. Like if you just outside your work, like right before lunch, go outside and go for a walk. Just 10 minutes, dude. And you're like, just decompress. Get your mind off of it. Just one foot in front of the other for 10 minutes. And then you're like, oh, that wasn't that bad. And he's like, then do another 10 minutes in the evening. And you're like... Man, really cool approach to get people to, to start bettering themselves. Yeah, well, and, and at the end of that 10 minutes, it goes so quick. Sure you're goes. like, oh, I might as well, like, do another, like, yeah. 50, I yeah. might, might as well do another 10. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you did a 30-minute walk, and you're, you're better because of it. And it's I, true. Like you said, a lot of people get caught up on what's, you know, what's better, the stairs or oh, cardio. Dude, or, it doesn't or matter. It's like, especially for somebody that is just starting, it's like, just like you said, just move. Just go walk. Like, yeah. you, don't, you don't have to run. You don't have to do anything. Just Pick one that that's, you like and do it. That's it's a like, tough thing you see on you see on the internet. A lot of the clickbait fucking videos, like oh, three ways to build bigger arms, mm -hmm. and I'm like, so curls, right? Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna do curls. Yeah. yeah, and then it's like, oh, the best type of cardio is this. Well, no, it's not. Uh, no, I don't care about your science. No. I mean, it might be you might you know there might be a study that says this is the best cardio. There's another study that says this is the best cardio. It's like find out what works for you and then do that. Mm -hmm. Like my three best bicep exercises are probably different than your three best bicep exercises because we're different people. Right. We have different, it's, it's not the same. Like I might connect some, it, it's like, there's always these connections with it. Like Seth, why do you do the stepper? Because I don't like the treadmill. Mm -hmm. That's why. And the stepper has gotten me in shape. So why would I stop? If I like it, I'm going to keep doing it because I'm good at it. You know, and I'm going to challenge myself on the stepper. Yeah. Stepper's like weight training cardio. <laughs> Fuck you. It, it's like standing <laughs> leg presses. <Yeah. laughs> standing single leg leg presses. He's got like the legit old school stepper. Like, I, I, have, I have stairs. I, right I have one of those like too. Is, that yes, thing, you have two? Dude, that thing that's, never... That's really hard. I, I <laughs> was on that thing every day for two years, and it never got easier. Yeah. Fucking never. No, never. it is... It is the most ruthless piece of cardio equipment, in my opinion. Like, what you have is way harder than what I have. Like, I, you know, I have, like, the stairs. I don't know if the revolving steps are, hard, are easier I think or harder. You, I think what you guys have is way harder, because I think it's more... It's a constant pump. Yeah. yeah. Constant. Yeah. Where I'm, just like, I'm good at it. Fucking big pump guy. Big pump, big pump guy. guy. Yeah. Big pump guy. All the pumps. <laughs> All of them. Every bit of them. No, that's... No, it makes sense. It is like, it is like weightlifting. Yeah. I do treat it that way as well. Yeah. I remember you describing like, yeah, I'll, I'll feel my glute and my hamstring activate. I change my feet position constantly. Yep. Wear flip flops. Yep. I wear flip flops. Yep. I can't wear. I'd go barefoot if I could. Yeah. But the the pads. I was actually debating about putting something on there, yeah. but then I was like, I can't because I sweat so much and it'd be soaking wet, and then I might slip and fall and hurt myself. Yeah. So I just do the sandals. Yeah. Because <laughs> I look at like Maybe a croc. Have you tried it? No, I haven't tried the crocs. Big croc guy over yeah, here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's a big deal. But I just have sandals because then – and Crocs would work too because yeah. they don't stink. Mm -hmm. they don't Ventilation. Stink. Yeah. It's key. Yeah. Man. I'm excited. Transformation is going to be big. I'm excited because I'm going to I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do some shit for this one. Mm -hmm. I want to. I haven't done it in a long time. I have not dieted, like, actually to look a certain way in a long time. Mm -hmm. So it'll be fun. Shane, you doing it? I am. Jay? Duh. Everybody's at. I think it's going to be massive. We're giving away a ton of money and a ton of prizes and a ton of cool shit. I know. I hope I win. I know. I think you're going to. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Yeah. But, well, let's, let's do that. We should, we should, we should be like. Everyone's a, like, what the fuck? And the winner is Bob. <laughs> yep. 
Second place, Seth. Third place, Dean. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Fuck you guys. You should make a, like a fake award that's like a Porsche. And like, yeah. oh, Bob happened oh to my God. accidentally oh my God. win. I, I can get another one into the house. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, look. Yeah. I won a Porsche won at the, a tra- the challenge at work. Okay, asshole. <laughs> Man, That's a great idea, Jay. That is oh, good. Man. Number one story of the year, I'm yep. telling you. It's the best one I've had all year. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get hot, I get excited, I laugh. It's the most fucked up story of the year. I'm going to film a reaction when it gets dropped off. Oh, yeah, have to. Or like somehow like set up a, a set up the camera somewhere, a couple of them. Yep. Yeah. Don't make it too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> She'll hear it coming. <laughs> Oh, well, all right, everybody. Thank you for listening. As always, make sure that you're following Dean. Make sure that you're enjoying the holidays, loving life, doing cool shit, working hard for the people that you love in your life. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye.